Frick! Dude, I'm not ready yet! I need to change my pants, dude! I grabbed my pants! I'm just kidding. I didn't crap my pants. Puffy Pez, what's going on? Welcome on in. Ben, give me a moment, dude. Hold on a sec. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm wearing sweats, dude. I'm wearing sweats. And I took them off because I don't want to be too hot. They're like freaking winter sweats, too. Look at they got the nice like inside that's like really really good and like keeps you warm. What the frick? Ben, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate it a lot, buddy. How was your stream, dude? Hope you had a good time with Castlevania. Uh, did you end up getting some uh, achievements done or what, buddy? All right. I think I'm better. I think I'm... Dude, I just checked this. Mother pus bucket. Ah! I checked this earlier and it wasn't, wasn't like this. Now I got to fix freaking Spotify, dude. All right, I'm going to fix it real quick. Son of a frick. Hope you're doing well, though, Ben. Hope uh, hope you had a good stream, man. Puffy Pez, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see you all. Uh, hope you had a good stream, buddy. Trimmer fail. I know, I know. Are said crapped pants for sale for the right price? Yes, they are. Yes, they are, Puffy. You want a pair, too? All right. Uh, crapped pants going for the right price. You look close in the mirror behind him. You can see his poop stains. They look so comfy. They really are comfy. They're really comfy. And they're warm too. They're really winter sweatpants. But I can't wear them in here because it gets too hot. Got a few in the end. Nice, dude. Nice. Yes, thank you so much for the shout out, LEJ. Appreciate you. Why aren't the shout out animations coming up? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. They just, they just, they they just don't care sometimes. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. It's, it's streamer bot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't have a reason why it works and some, sometimes it doesn't. I bid 100 bits, 200 bits. Oh, shoot. We have a bidding war going on. What's up, Fexy? Good to see you, man. Good to catch a stream. Good to have you here. I hope you're doing well, friend. 201 bits. Why is your stream so scuffed? I'm sorry, Ellie. I didn't mean it. Stop yelling at me. <sighs> Yo, Yang. Thank you so much for the follow, dude. I appreciate it a lot. Welcome on in, buddy. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to do the thing. I'm going to fix Spotify. Watch. Watch. Say I won't. Say I won't, Ellie. Say I won't. Young, hope you're doing well, dude. It's good to see you, man. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Now I'm going to do that. And I'm going to open this. And I'm going to grab this thing down here. Where is it? It's right here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to pull this over into this. Watch. Say I won't. Say I won't, Ellie. Say I won't, Ellie. Let's go! Ellie J, let's freaking go! She got 25% off those gifted subs today. Let's freaking go. Here, take these. I got to go get dinner. Thank you so much for, for dropping those subs, L.E.J., you freaking heckin' cutie. I love you so much. I hope you enjoy dinner. You just got 25% off of those subs. If you're not aware, there is a September event going on right now. 
uh, on this week only to the end of the month, basically, which is this week for the most part. Um, you get 25% off of gifted subs. So be sure to gift those subs to your favorite streamers. Thank you so much, LEJ. You hit some good people there. You hit Grand Obelisk, having a lovely time, lifted senses, see money, and strawberry eggs, all people that we know and love. Fix your shiz. I'll be right back. All right. Why not come? What's up, Dylan? Welcome on in, dude. Hold on. Watch. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hold up. I'm checking it right now. This better work. It's better work. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Work, bish. All right, it's working again. See, I told you it would. Doing great, buddy. Glad to hear it. Damn, Ellie. Thank you so much for that five pack. Let's go, dude. Give some subs to your favorite streamer. Your favorite streamer is me. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get down to it. All right, we're going to play some Star Tropics tonight. I know LEJ is super happy about that. She's super excited. LEJ moving into the third slot for gifted subs this month. Let's freaking go. All right, calf tweets. Calf tweets are in the Discord. Calf live noties are in the Discord. Let's go. We've got uh, captions set up. We are freaking rocking and rolling, dude. All right, we're going to play Star Tropics tonight. I know LEJ is going to love this a lot because we just started Star Tropics. We're at the beginning, so come through. Check out this first playthrough that I'm doing of Star Tropics tonight because we did beat Blaster Master. Finally, oh, we beat Blaster Master. I'm so freaking happy about it. Um, but yeah, let's do the damn thing, okay? I didn't use the stuff in my hair tonight. I only, uh, I just kind of like put it up a little bit. I'm like kind of faking it. I'm faking it till I make it right now, okay? <clears throat> I hope you guys like it. Let me pull up the game. After all, all we've tried. All right. Seems a little loud. All right, you guys are still hearing it, so that's good. Star Tropics, boom. Tempton, what's going on, dude? Welcome on in. Welcome, buddy. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. What's been going on, everybody? How's your weekends? How's your life? How you living? How's your Monday? Sorry I didn't stream on Friday, but stuff came up. All right, let's see what we got here. This should This should be me. Let me fix my stuff a little bit. I want to fix my stuff just a just a tad, just a little little teensy bit. Just a little teensy bit, okay? I think I can do this. Does this work? How do I do this? We're going to edit transform on this. We're going to edit transform. And I think this is. Is it this one? Not this one, actually, but. We could try doing that anyway. How does that look? Sort of good? Sort of good? I still don't like the space between the cam. But I think I have to do that in my other screen and I don't want to do it right now. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Do 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 Alright, we're exploring. The only thing we did last time... So this is the first playthrough. I just started it on, what was it, Wednesday last week. And so the first thing that we did was we went to the town and then you basically talk to the chief. The chief says something about your uncle being like gone or something. 
and then you go to like the first dungeon area it's it's really easy it sort of explains some of the the like mechanics of the game basically and and then you fight this snake boss which you don't even really have to fight you can just literally jump past the snake boss so that's all we did so far and then you come out the other end and that's where we are right here Hi, I'm Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Okay, apparently uh, Dr. J is in this game. It's a basketball-themed game. You know Dr. J is a submarine called the Sub C. The ID code is to start the engine of Sub C is 1492. Memorize the ID code. Please get on board Sub C in the laboratory. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm afraid of of. <clears throat> Puffy, how you liking the channel so far? How you like the uh, the emos, the channel? How you like the aesthetic? How you like the look? Let me know what you think. I corrupted Chulk. How did you corrupt Chulk, Lord Malachite? Welcome on in, buddy. It's good to see you, man. Hope you had a good weekend. How's everything going? And how did you corrupt Chulky? How did you do it to my man? Hate it. Two out of ten. Needs more skin. All right. Say no more. Say less. Say less, Puffy. Say less. All right, that takes subs, okay? 25% off of subs for this week, okay? You want to see more skin? You want to see more skin? Where the subs at? In the cockpit of Sub C. Welcome on board. I am the navigational computer of Sub C. 1492. Uh, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Call me Navcom. Input the ID code now. ID code 1492. Start engine. Aye, aye, Captain. Dude, is that... Is that... What is, what's the name of the... What is the name... Son of a... Bish! Puffy! Puffy, thank you so much for that brand spanking new tier one subscription. You heckin' cutie. Thank you so much for the financial support. Enjoy those uh, emotes for the next 30 days. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. Welcome to the Cafe Fam. We are glad to have you here. If you would like to use those emotes all throughout Discord, be sure to hop in my Discord. We'd love to have you there, man. At your own discretion. Uh, Jimbo, what's going on, buddy? It's good to see you, dude. How is everything going, man? Be right back. Calling a save count? Thank you so much for that financial support. Uh... Puffy, I appreciate it a whole heck of a lot. Hope you had a good weekend, Jimbo. How's the how's the girls? How's everything going, dude? Is that the robot, the Ness robot? Look at it on screen. You see the is that the Ness robot down there? That looks like the little Ness robot. What's his name? I forget the name. Just chatting with your new love interest. Ooh, woo, Jimbo. You have a new love interest, Jimbo? Tell us all about it, man. I am interested. Okay? I'm all ears for you, my friend. Glad to freaking hear it, buddy. Always happy to see my people be up. The sub C is ready to launch. All ahead full. She's 34. Nice, nice. Um, does she have a career? Does she have any other children of her own? Um, like, uh, after a few hours voyage, sub C is still cruising on the ocean. Number two, dolphins. Um, let us know, you know, how things are, dude. Professional photographer? That's cool. I like photography. What if I try to go left? <clears throat> 34 out of 10. Damn. What's up, Gingineers? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Wait, what do you mean 34 out of 10? What happened? She's 34. 34 out of 10? Oh, oh, she's the 30. Okay, I get you. I got you, Ginge. I got you. I got you. Okay, it took me a moment. I'm slow, okay? I'm a boomer. But I understand now. That's <laughs> that's a good one, man. Took me a sec. I'm slow, dude, okay? <clears throat> I'm slow. I'm, I'm an old man. I'm just curious if I go left if I get somewhere. Uh, is there like a map or anything? Like what? You are now at chapter two. Oh, that's that's good. Hope you've been good, Gingineer. Welcome on in, dude. How's everything been, dude? Ten and six. Whoa. Oh, it's the dolphin. Ten and six, both girls. Oh, shoot. Wait. 
She has two girls and you have two girls? Dude. <laughs> That's amazing, bro. What do you guys think of that? Like the pairing of, of the two girls with the two girls. That's like amazing, bro. You'd be outnumbered though. You'd be like my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law has five girls. He's completely outnumbered between his wife and his five children. Uh, so good luck, Jimbo. <laughs> Please ignore my bad joke. Don't worry about it, man. I like bad jokes here. It just took me a second to comprehend. I was like, wait a minute. 34 out of 10. Nice crazy, but good. Hey, crazy can be okay. As long as crazy means means good. But in this case, you're saying it means good. So that's that's good. So you know what I mean? Um, staying busy is not a bad thing. Uh, hopefully not too hectic. Hopefully not, uh, too crazy where you can't hold on to things. So I completely understand that. There's a lot going on in my life too. I got to, uh, fix my car. Um, I have to put a new part into it because there's a light on in one of my vehicles. And I also have to look into converting our house to gas. I need to do this HVAC hookup, all this stuff. It's like, it's craziness. Told him about a cooking website that I knew of from around circa 99 where they would cook recipes using a secret ingredient that only a guy can produce. Now he's teasing a cooking stream for around Christmas using that using said secret ingredient. <laughs> That's funny as heck, Lord. <clears throat> is the is the is the secret ingredient um green by chance because it's choke? Yo, I've been having a nice day. Hope you uh, enjoy your first playthrough of this. I played for my first time a few months ago and loved it. I'll be here drinking coffee and enjoying. Yo, sweet Nikki. It's good to have you here. Welcome on in. I hope you're enjoying your coffee. Let me know what kind of coffee you're drinking tonight. Um, I'm curious. You know me. I love my coffee, so I'm definitely curious to know what you're drinking. I heard that, Ginjineer. I heard that. Do you reside in California? Because I that popped up for me. Maybe because I've been searching different things. And I was like, damn, dude. They like are passing laws to actually get rid of that type of stuff. So I was like, I think stoves. They said stoves are not... Um, stove. They, 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 at least in the, the video I watched, it said stoves are not a part of that. But furnaces, water heaters, and other gas like appliances and stuff are but that's by 20 i did say the thing um but that's by 2030 that you need to convert did you hear this calf yo what's up set welcome on in dude i hear it loud and clear my friend okay ah all right never mind just the tip just the tip just the tip okay i i promised i promised i promised um Puffy a, a little bit of skin, okay? I promise Puffy a little bit of skin. Okay? Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. I promise Puffy just a little bit, okay? They subscribe to tier one. Get a little bit. Get a little bit. Maxwell House today. How's your day going? Great to see you. Hell yeah, man. Uh Maxwell House is good. Gets the job done. Gets the job done. I'm doing well, thank you. Chilling. I'm feeling a bit better. I, I didn't stream on Friday because I wasn't feeling too well, but uh, I definitely got uh, some rest over the weekend, which made me feel better. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm feeling better today and I'm chilling. Got to hang out with some friends today. Got some work done and just chilled. I got to watch more um, Stranger Things. I'm on season four now and I'm like almost, I don't know, halfway through it or something really cool and then got to hang out with some family and stuff like that so it's, it's pretty cool thanks for asking i'm doing well thanks got a nice double shot americano oh nice nice did you finish it already or are you sipping on it my wife likes americano so my wife's not into espresso or like lattes because she, or, or cappuccinos because she doesn't like milk in her coffee so i'll make her an americano which is espresso with water basically it's a watered down espresso which makes it sort of like coffee so she likes that quee 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 never come here captain she is a female dolphin we'll begin translation Please find my son. He has disappeared. Captain, may I promise to find her baby, her boy dolphin? Aye, aye, Captain. Thank you. Please find my son. Okay, will do. So you're going to greet him as white and is part of the baby making process. Oh, so it's come. It's come. Right? 
come or what's the other one what's the other one it's like set set knows what it is what's the other one set what's the one with the what's what's the one with the the, the wave going on have you seen this man? He looks like a defunct American gladiator. Get you another man. <laughs> Set, I would honestly, Set, you enjoyed Night of the Living Dead last night or what? My man Set watched Night of the Living Dead with his parents for the first time, the OG black and white Night of the Living Dead. I want to know what you really thought of it, man. Still watching EV, so I'm on mobile and it sucks. No worries, buddy. No worries at all. He did. He did. Oh, baby. You're welcome, Puffy. I've only met him today, but no red flags detected. Hey, no red flags here. No red flags. Still sipping? Nice. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Right on. Hell yeah, Nikki. Uh, thank you so much for that. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling better. So uh, we're, we're, we're back at it today. <clears throat> I needed some rest. I felt like me not getting rest and relaxation really caused my immune system to sort of get down on itself and, uh, and get weakened. So... I needed that rest and relaxation to, to, to boost myself. So I got some of that over the weekend and it definitely helped out a lot. Plus if I'm, if I'm not, if I'm tired and all that stuff, like I'm just not going to be at the top of my game and I don't like, like streaming when I, when I'm like that either. So it's, I want to be able to bring the vibes, bring the fun, bring the happiness and, and the good times and uh, the positivity and the energy that we're looking for. Still sipping? Hell yeah, dude. Did you get it earlier or did you just get it? Like, I just had an espresso right before stream started. So I'm always extra energetic at the beginning of the stream as uh, things start up because I just have my espresso. Does Ellie know you're playing this? She does. She already came in and dropped five gift subs on me uh, at the beginning of stream. And then she said she was going to go get some dinner. Uh, so I expect she'll be back in a little bit. These nuts. It's a jam emote? Oh, okay. Let me see. Yeah, it's cum jam. There it is. That's the one I was thinking of. I didn't know you could say cum on TV. Yeah, sure you can. You can say, you can say cum. You can say cum. You can say all sorts of things. You hated the end of it? Yeah, that's right. He hated the end of it. He didn't like the way uh, the ending was in the original Night of the Living Dead, but it's, uh, it's definitely a twist. I like it made me the it made me angry aside from the end it was enjoyable though i need to remember it's from the 50s too exactly no it's from the 60s um he made one i think it was in 68 or 69 that came out something like that the 60s and then he made one he made dawn in the 70s and then he made day in the in the 80s so he made one like every 10 years basically they're all great movies though calf only drinking chalky milk dude stop telling my secret, okay? Who's this guy? I maintain the lighthouse. So you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. Oh, please visit my wife at our south house. She enjoys company. Can I touch the fire? <clears throat> oh, it's supposed to take place in the 50s, not when it's released. Okay, that might make more sense, but I know it was released in the 60s. Nice. Don't believe his lies. Dude, I don't lie, okay? I swear. Nice, right, Dylan? I have a beer in my fridge named Star Tropics. Not sure if it's a reference to the game or not. It sure sounds like it's a reference to the game because I certainly would only think about that coming from this game. That's a, that's a very big coincidence if it's not... Uh, called that that based off of the game. That was a really big coincidence. All right, what is going on here? Why does the game stutter sometimes too? That's weird. Oh, I think I see. Okay, I was wondering what's going on here. And then what are these? Okay, I got it. <clears throat> imagine this guy looking for a dolphin in a lighthouse. I know, imagine. I 
also did watch Oates' um, race on Saturday night. It was really cool. He was racing against um, a real cutie, and both of them are really good at playing Super Metroid. That is the secret ingredient cooking with cum was was the website. Oh shoot! The website used the Swedish chef as their mascot. <laughs> Chinese hocus pocus and stream we call cooking with chilk. That's great, Lord Malachi. I love that. Good memes. I like that meme. The label is pixel art style text, so I think so. But there's nothing about it on the can. Okay, so that's interesting. It's called Star Tropics and it's in an 8 bit sort of pixel art style, but they don't really mention anything about it on the can. I wonder if that's just to protect themselves or something, but it definitely sounds like this is inspired by the game. Yeah, I'm finding my way around, Nikki. This is this is a little different. I wasn't quite sure what to make of it. I was like, "Wait. I know you got to look around. This is like an RPG style, sort of an, an adventure game. So you definitely need to check around and see what's going on. So I'm definitely going to be exploring a bit <clears throat> in hopes to find out what's going on here. So I added a couple new things, but they're hidden. So good luck. Welcome, welcome. It's so seldom my husband and I get visitors. It's good to see freaking Jimbo though, man. Jimbo got himself a new little uh, a, a new little sweetie to talk to, a new little sweetie to meet and and uh, you know maybe hold hands with and hang out with. That's really really awesome, man. And they both have two daughters. Imagine, imagine. <clears throat> it's so seldom my husband and I get visitors. So you're looking for a boy dolphin. Sorry, but I have not seen him. But early this morning, I saw a bottle on the beach. I wonder if it's a clue to the lost dolphin. Wait, so now do I need to go back to the beach area? I think this... I think this might be a new one, Jim, uh, set. I think this might be, um, a new lady that he's speaking to. Oh, there is the bottle. Okay, so they're... Okay, you gotta do things in order, apparently. There's, there's an order of operations here that I'm not quite sure about. This game that should be... Okay, Calf. This is the game that should be 100 hours, not Blaster, Masturbator. Damn, another one? Or is that the same lady he's been with? Damn. Wait, no, I already took that out. LCG, congrats on being not first. Who got first? It was LEJ got first. Congrats to LEJ for being first. Uh, LCG, thank you so much for your contribution, sweetie. I appreciate it a lot. We're at 75% of the goal currently for our Soul Blazer first playthrough challenge, which is a channel point reward challenge. So be sure to get your points in on that. LCG, you've got a bottle. There is a note in the bottle. You read it. Help, captured by evil aliens. Tell my nephew to use code 1776, Dr. J. Okay, so they literally tell you that you're, that he's captured by aliens. They literally tell you. There is no more K's cooking set. Sorry. <clears throat> After YouTube, no, on on YouTube, I got a strike against me because I had K's cooking in my video. So I refuse to do K's cooking anymore. Took it out. Out. Tell my nephew to use code 1776. Does it tell me I learned the code? Okay, I don't have to remember this. Discord stream it. <clears throat> Yo, uh, you know, Set, wait a minute. What was the movie I was saying I was going to, I was going to watch? Wasn't that the, the, the of the Living Dead series that I was going to watch and now you're watching them? Screw you, Set. You know what? Screw you, pal. All right? Frick you. D uh, Dylan, thank you so much for your host. Appreciate that a lot, dude. You got a thick old booty, Dylan. I'm just saying. Um, all right. So we can't get through here. Is that what you're telling me? Should I go back to the, the guy? Wait, what did I... I just got the code to something. 
Oh. Submergible system online or ready? Oh, so we're submerging now. Okay. <clears throat> we're submerging. Remember being super little trying to find that code. Don't remember anything about this game though. Yeah, I didn't play this as a kid. Submerge. Submerge. I didn't play this as a kid. Um, this is one game that I did not play as a kid. Another game that I played, but I ha I never got anywhere with, similar to Blaster Master, was um, a boy in his blob. I never could like understand how to do something with that game. I've got a big heart. Your life level is increased. Chicken salad? Are you eating chicken salad right now, Puffy? Puffy, where's Biggie at? <clears throat> Meeting some dank chicken salad right now? Hell yeah, dude. You got some Caesar sauce on that salad? Tell Puffy you got some Caesar on there. <laughs> Biggie? Who Biggie? You know, Biggie Smalls. Notorious B.I.G. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. I love watching a boy in his blob. Love. I said love. <laughs> I seen it, Nikki. I seen it with my own two eyes. <clears throat> Wait, I didn't mean to jump in. I didn't. Okay, game. Okay. I threw balsamic dressing on it. Balsamic is dope. So, Cav, I'm in a vent. Is that okay? Yeah, go for it. I didn't sneeze. Luckily, I didn't sneeze. I didn't fall in, okay? This dude just jumped in for no good damn reason. Nobody told him. Because I'm puffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gesundheit. Thank you. Thank you, LCG, as well. It's only allowed if you tell Caffey he's a butt, LCG. Otherwise, no venting. Dude. I don't know why he just decided to jump in. What the hell's wrong with this game? Y'all y'all are laughing at me right now. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> You're all banned. <laughs> this game be trolly as hell, bro. I heard about this game. I heard this game trolls the heck out of you. No, I don't care. I'm just playing around. I'm just I'm just having fun, Puffy. You guys can laugh all you want. I'm just messing. I'm trying to make entertainment here. I'm trying to be entertaining. I'm like Chris Farley. Okay, I make fun of myself to make the funnies. Caffy like wingy. It's Blaster Master all over again. Yeah, there's my Steam profile. Um, <clears throat> but there's basically all my links anyway. So, so I was on my way home. A neighbor was riding his bike. Uh, totally fine. He parked his bike on our driveway. I backed up into our driveway and parked and forcefully moved it over that's weird yeah that kid is I don't know it's a little odd to do parking it on your on your driveway that is a little, little odd it's a little odd should have just ran it over I'm just kidding you shouldn't do that that wouldn't be nice Okay, I remember seeing this. Get off me! Wait. Is that... What do they call these creatures? Are those the creatures in Zelda? Yeah, you gotta come back here. Yeah. I feel like I've seen Dan do some of this. 
I hope you're enjoying that Maxwell house, Nikki. It's making me wish I had some coffee right next to me, but I just had my espresso, so I'm good. But sipping on some coffee is just generally an all-around wonderful thing to do. Yeah, I want to see... I want to see... Um, LCG be on the bike and and give the and just like knock over the kid road rage style Why does this look like I'm being punked right here Why am I be, why, why am I being punked right here <clears throat> This is a big punk out I shouldn't have even come over here I shouldn't have gotten hit for this There's nothing here Qbert Octorox, yeah, those things. Neighbor's always been like that. Yeah, I've heard you talk about that. That boy. That boy. <clears throat> Ose is on fire. Might really work out. LCG gonna hop on a bicycle and go straight road rash on the neighbor. That's what I'm saying. Set was looking all cute in his picture that he took with with the dog. He's like he's like a pet pet dad almost, like daddy pet pet uncle. And it's so cute. Should I be using the bat? I think no, Dan uses the bat for the boss, I think. Maybe the bike needs to disappear. You know, Ginjaneer has a good thought there. Maybe perhaps the bike should disappear. All right, how do I get in there? Is it over on the left? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see it at the top there. Where is it? Oh, I see it. Oh, they're playing games. They're playing games right now. Okay. You're playing games with me. You think you're funny, huh? <clears throat> Hiding it over here. This whole family uses our driveway as their playground. <laughs> That's weird. That's weird, champ. Oh gosh, of course I'm gonna I'm gonna end up dying now. Bing. Oh, this is the boss. Alright. Alright, we're pausing in midair. Uncle Set, ooh woo, was in the same room you was in. Yeah, I see it. Don't hurt the bike. Hurt the neighbor and said, what are you going to pile drive the young boy? <laughs> are you going to pile drive the boy like, hey, screw you. And then just pile drive that little kid. Um, Wait, wait, wait. How do I right like this? Okay, that that don't work. Wait, there's an Octa Rock over here. Oh no, there's two Octa Rocks over here. What are they doing? Wait, he's. All right. <clears throat> hurting their bank account is hurting them. True. Somebody messing with my finances is messing with me. Wait. This door is like open. Do I even need to kill this thing? You have to kill that thing, don't you? You can't just go away. You gotta find the dolphin. What the hell? Yeah, GG. 
I'm not quite sure. Genjir? I am not quite sure. I thought I seen Dan beat that enemy. He does the speed run. Maybe there's something you get from it. Oh, you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so things loop around on you. Wait, excuse me, sir. Okay. Things loop rack around on you. You have to kill that boss. Right? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong? I don't know what I am. <clears throat> OCG was mad about the neighbor parking in the driveway. And while I empathize, please do not let this extensive clarification distract you from the fact that in 1998, the Undertaker threw mankind off of hell in a cell and plummeted 16 feet through an announcer's table. Thank you for that factoid. Okay, this is going to be bad for me, isn't it? I feel like this is going to be bad for me. This is going to be bad for me right here. They're going to give me the, the health thing, and then they're going to kill me. Right? No? Stop killing me! Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Okay, I see you. I see you. Oh, this is the thing Dan gets. You have to, like, jump on these things in a certain order. To get this snowman. And then I think he uses the snowman. Hey, what are you doing back? There's the dolphin. Oh, here's the here's the boss. Here's the real boss. Wait, how do you use the snowman? Where's the snowman? I just clubbed that freaking octopus, dude. I hit him. Look at him. Home run. Come at me, bish. You ain't got shit. Alright, maybe he does. Never mind. I lied. You got some. You holding some. LCG, which wrestling moves do you knew? Do you know? New? No? No? New? Which ones do you know exactly? I'm curious. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I told you I was gonna sneeze. Thank you. <laughs> you lost your soul. I saw it fly out. Yeah, I sneeze pretty hard. And usually when I sneeze, I sneeze in... I sneeze in more than just once. They usually come in sets of three. I think 
podcast funny set you ain't got nothing you ain't got nothing bish wrong with you no fuck out of here uh oh oh yeah Thank you, LCG. Calf confirmed loud coomer. Dude. Don't despair, Mike. Under the Southern Cross, anything is possible. Okay. Well. Try again. We try again. <clears throat> now I just need to like blow my nose because my nose is all like freaking messed up now. you Nikki I'm sure I'll get it it's a first playthrough so we're gonna make our way we're making our way we're giving it the old college try you know <laughs> oh frick all right wasn't paying attention it's okay no! all right I got a I got a heart That's you're probably right, Nikki. You're absolutely heckin' right. Don't fall in the water. Okay. Damn it. All right. Pausing. All right, here we go. All right, now I should get it. Now I should get it, okay? Perfect. Set. Frick. How many bits for the handkerchief? Uh, 666. 420. 69. <clears throat> okay, I, I jumped off, apparently. Is Army of Darkness after Evil Dead? Yes. Army of Darkness is technically Evil Dead 3. It goes Evil Dead 1 and then Evil Dead 2. Uh, I, f I forget what the tagline of Evil Dead 2 is. Like evil harder, uh, but then Evil Dead 3's Army of Darkness. Why did I jump for? I don't know. Cause this game it has weird, funky. Look at, see, you can turn in all directions like this without moving. When you touch the control pad, you can turn in the different directions without actually moving. You have to like be facing a direction and then so it's like it's weird it's like slippery you can just sit here and literally just kind of spin in place it's weird 
Dead Alive. Peter Jackson's first movie. I think good zombie one, but silly. Yeah, I love Dead Alive. That's it's not Peter Jackson's first movie. That's actually like his second movie. His first movie is called um What's his first movie called? I forget. But it has to do it has a similar feel to it. But yeah, Dead Alive is not his first movie. It's his second one. I know that for a fact. For a fact. Remember when Calf jumped into the water at this part? Why you jump for? Because I suck. I want to make it a fun and interesting first playthrough for y'all. I want you guys to yell at me. It's a really good movie, though. I agree with you, Nikki, that it's it's actually super awesome. And I actually told Set to watch it last night. I said, dude, if you want to see some other movies that are, like, really cool in the sort of, like, slapstick horror genre, I was like, check out Evil Dead. Or, or sorry, check out Dead Alive. Check out, like, uh, Evil Dead 3. Even Evil Dead 2. Um, Tucker, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Shaun of the Dead. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know tons about horror movies and stuff. I watched a lot of them in my time, and I'm I'm a big horror buff. I'm a big horror buff. I'm buff. Choo choo! Here comes the excuse train. <laughs> I never heard that one before. That's freaking dope, Buffy. Thank you. <laughs> yep, here comes the excuse train. <clears throat> I had a hell of a time with the inputs too. They're kind of janky. They are. I, they they really are janky. They're really like janky. It's funky. Oh gosh, I didn't ex I didn't see this guy. Wait. Okay. Yo, thank you, Nikki. Apparently, you have good taste as well. over here <laughs> yeah thank you puffy oh. wow you're actually gonna give me a heart oh and then you're gonna take it away okay okay I see wow not hitting that guy okay I hate these things Much buff. I want to know what I get for killing this guy. Maybe he just doesn't bother you in other screens if you... Uh, you can watch Evil Dead in practically in any order you want. There's barely any continuation. Evil Dead 2 is virtually a remake. Reimagination of Evil Dead and Army of Darkness reimagines how Evil Dead 2 left up. Yeah, pretty much. I'm a big fan of, of ED1. Um, uh, like, I like ED2, but I like ED1 more, which is actually the opposite. Usually people like ED2 more because of the slapstick horror aspect to it, which is fine. <clears throat> You want me to play that for you? Okay, B5, you got it, dude. B5, thank you so much for the resub, dude. What's going on, buddy? 10 month club, let's freaking go, dude. Thank you so much for your continued support of the channel, my friend. I heckin' appreciate it so much. Uh, enjoy those emails for the next 30 days. Enjoy your ad free viewing for the next 30 days. It's good to have you back in the cafe fam, dude. Always a pleasure, buddy. I hope you're doing well, man. Kill this guy. Okay, kill that guy. Cock has the thing. Yo, the thing is like one of the best horror movies ever freaking made. Um, it's like sci-fi horror, but it doesn't matter. It's still one of the like the best horror movies ever made. The the remake of the thing that was made in like what the 80s or something. Um, not like I've never seen the original. I kind of still want to. The OG black and white thing, but 
the remake is is absolutely a masterpiece so good but yes like i was saying i i really like ed1 ed2 is good but i like ed1 more and oh it was this one okay um <clears throat> and then ed3 is is like just really just a slapstick movie comedy movie for the most part it's a it's a good film it's not a bad film it's just it is not uh it's, it's a long departure from ed1 love the 82 version yeah 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 it's so good you saw that this year you enjoyed it it's so good it's it's so hecking good it's literally like one of the best horror movies ever made the the, the effects on it are just amazing good story good everything hello to the people in the room what's up sidewalk warrior welcome on in dudes good to see you man hope you had a good weekend buddy let us know how it went for you dude the one made in the 2010s wasn't terrible, but it suffered too much CGI and it made it sad. Wait, did they remake? They wait, they did remake the thing, didn't they? I don't think I watched that. Even if I wouldn't like it, I would probably still watch it just for the heck of it. But um, I don't think I watched it. How do you like Drag Me to Hell? I don't remember if I watched it. I might have. Sounds like I might have. But I'm not like a huge fan of like new school horror. Is the thing. Um. I don't remember if I watched it. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't remember. The thing is amazing. The old version. I've not seen the new one. <clears throat> they made a prequel to the 82. Yes, it was a prequel. That's right. I didn't watch it. Oh, gosh. I'm going to get hit. Damn. Damn, I'm not gonna be able to hit him really. You can hit him while you're jumping, actually. I forgot about that. <clears throat> that was the remake in the 2010s. Yeah, I still should watch it, but I haven't watched it. Um what 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 are you into, Sidewalk Warrior? Pretty good so far. Like, I, I know a lot of different horror movies. I know so many. Like, if anybody's looking for recommendations, just let me know because I know so, so many. What the hell? I didn't think that was going to hit me. <clears throat> a lot of naps in laundry. Started a new job last week, so just dealing with new schedule. Oh, okay. I hope the, the new job's going well for you. I, 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 re I swear I remember you mentioning a new job. When I saw you last week, it's Sam Raimi. It's new, but it's cool. I think I did see that then. Because I, I usually see things that like Sam Raimi made or something. Because I know it, I can sort of somewhat trust that. I think I have seen that. It was just a long time ago. So I have a hard time remembering what the hell it's about. We were talking Sam Raimi movies. Oh, we, we, we were, but it was just coincidence. We weren't really talking necessarily about his movies but just we were just kind of talking horror movies in, in general not really necessarily about his movies but uh just horror movies because <clears throat> Sitekus wants to watch some some horror stuff and i know tons of horror stuff and he just watched night of the living dead and i told him to watch day and watch dawn dawn and day i should say to put it in order Okay. All right. I'm gonna kill this octopus. All the whole the snowman can freeze him, and he is weaker to the bat. Yeah, I kind of know that, but I don't know how to use the snowman. Is the thing. I don't know where it's stored. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I already sort of knew that because. I've watched Dan Carnet run this before, and I know he uses it. I just don't know how you use it because 
there's it's not in my menu and i don't know where it is or where it's stored i just don't understand i grabbed it and i don't know where it is so um but you can do more damage with the the yo-yo because you can hit him with it quicker you can get like a whole bunch of hits with the bat or the yo-yo as opposed to the bat <clears throat> All the horror grew up ordering obscure horror movies from random video rentals that would let us. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. Yeah, we used to do sort of the same. At least when... Um, when we got into, like, watching horror and stuff. One and a half hearts per hit is pretty brutal. Yeah. I still, you still won't watch The Exorcist, really? Pause and select. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see. And holding my tongue on freezing him, I didn't know if he wanted help or not. I kind of don't, because this is a first playthrough, but I already sort of knew that. Only because I've watched Dan run this. And of all the things I remember, I remember him fighting that octopus. Which is sort of sort of odd. Of, of all the things I can remember, I remember that. <clears throat> I just put Dawn on YouTube, so I'm going to be lurking. All right, dude. Enjoy it, man. Let me know where you're at. And which version are you watching, Set, The longer one or the shorter one? Keep, keep me updated with where you're at, dude, because I love that movie so heckin' much. Let me see here. <clears throat> uh, the way it's shot is twitchy. Has some Evil Dead feel. Obviously way different Super Polish production, but it's a good tale. Definitely worth a watch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've watched it. Thank you, Nikki, for holding your tongue. I appreciate it. I understand how hard that stuff can be, but uh, yeah, as I... I definitely like to try to get through these games with as little input as, as possible. I'm not like so, um, so crazy about telling people like not to like help me out. But at the same time, I do like to try to figure things out on my own. Uh, come to PGH and I'll take you on the Romero tour. Yo, that'd be sick though, Sidewalk Warrior. <clears throat> that'd be actually really sick. Do they actually really have like a whole tour or are you just like... Are you just memeing a little bit there? Or do they actually have, like, this whole thing where, like, people actually go around and see all the different sites or something? Snow Snowman is select while pause, like the potion? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Pause and... Pause, yes, and select, I think. But if the yo-yo is stronger, by all means, that's awesome. Yeah, I think it is. I know that's what Dan was using. I remember ordering Brain Dead. It cost, like, over 200 bucks. Called Dead Alive now, but wasn't available in u.s as brain dead peter jackson early film most yes exactly sidewalk warrior we were talking about that earlier it is called brain dead um but i think that's only f i thought that was only for like european markets or something or or like non-us markets because it's it's called it's called dead alive here and um it's it's so good it's if you like slapstick horror i think that movie is like the best so such a good movie so so good Yeah, I don't quite. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm the tour guide. No, I go around. Oh, that's dope, dude. Have to pick up the snowman each time you die because you lose it each death. Yeah, I, I figured as much. I pick it up each time. I just don't know how to use it. At least this game's got jams, man. You have nothing to fear. This won't be hard for me because I enjoy playing games for the first time with no help. It's on an adventure. Exactly, Nikki. <clears throat> and I've come to know to keep my mouth shut. So I I always don't say anything, no matter what. I automatically default to saying absolutely nothing. Dude, seriously. The jumping is like... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Dude, seriously. <clears throat> I 
does so much damage. There are a few things. Take on a boat ride to see the film studio. Go to the cemetery in the Dawn of the Dead Mall. Yeah. That sounds really dope. The actual cemetery where, um... Where the, uh, the OG Night of the Living Dead zombie comes out and he's like... He gets them at the beginning. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Catch Caffeine Daydream. Thank you, LCG. Do they still... Is this is the to, this tombstone still... Uh, erect there? Still, still up and going, huh? <clears throat> Shout out Tauros. Thank you, LCG. That's wicked cool, man. That's like so dope. I love that the history is still there. I know George is not alive anymore, but... Um, his wife is is still around and she's still overseeing like the whole estate of Romero and, and his films and everything, which is which is really neat. I think they're still gonna put out some stuff that like is sort of like in his name and whatnot. Damn you. Ooh, got my heart. <laughs> oh, I just almost jumped. Wow. I got you, boo boo. I'm glad you got me, LCG. Where's Jen at? Huh? She don't she don't make me no beady at tacos. You don't order me no BDA tacos. I showed my wife the BDA tacos. She was like, there's so much fat in that. <laughs> she don't like that kind of, like when something has too much fat like that. Too much, so much grease and stuff. Yo, King Pasta Water, what's going on? Welcome on in. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Always a pleasure. What is going on tonight? Let us know how you're doing. Oh, magic items. Oh, that's what it is then. It's not select. Select goes between the items, but you have to like choose magic items too. Okay, that's different. <clears throat> Thank you. I should have looked at the manual, honestly. I can look at the manual. I just, I, I neglected to do so. What? Wow. can't believe I got hit by that guy. Set, let us know which part you're at, dude. Did you hear me or not? I want to know where where you're at in the in the thing and everything. I took some Portuguese girl on a tour of PGH, and she has a video of it on YouTube somewhere. in the graveyard is in there. That's so dope, Sidewalk Warrior. You can do one with less grease. I don't know where she is. Uh, I'm good. The vague outline from my book finally came to me on my way home from work, so I've been trying to type it out. That's sick. GGS. GG's on uh, coming up with the outline. I'm sure that wasn't easy. Um, but freaking GG's on getting that. Like, uh, sort of, you know, outlined in your head and everything. That's dope. You're a very creative individual. From what I've seen. With the, with the drawing, now with the... Um, the writing as well. I didn't know that you're a writer. That's really cool. It's, like, I can't, I, I can't, like, I'm so uncreative <laughs> that when I see somebody that's creative, I always think it's, like, so dope. <clears throat> Been trying to write it for, like, a year? Whoa. Writing can be super tough. Especially if you get, like, blocked mentally. It's like, damn. Your writer too. Your degree is in writing. That's sick. It's really awesome. Leads. Uh, lead. Leadipus, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on in, dude. How are you doing, friends? Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for the raid. What the hell? <clears throat> Snack raid. What's up, Who is the Catch? How you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you're all doing well tonight. I hope you had a grand time with my good friend, 
uh Lidipus, hope you're all doing excellent had a good weekend uh disappointed Lidipus raid why are you disappointed with leads what's up judge zect good to see you welcome on in hi lutherian good to see you as well welcome everybody uh we are playing star tropics tonight we're hanging out having some laughs enjoying ourselves we we're talking horror movies and different different movies different books different things so let us know what you're uh what you're interested in what you what you like we'd love to hear it well again we're also doing a first playthrough of uh of star tropics <coughs> Yo, Mr. Dynamite, welcome on in. Uh, yo, CFF Shallow, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. What's going on, everybody? What the hell? Are we getting double raided right now? I like you, you sweetheart. Yo, lead up is thank you so much. What the hell? I appreciate you, dude. I like you as well, buddy. You're heckin' sweetheart. Um, thank you so much for those followers. I appreciate it a lot. What's up, Tulip? What's up, Pyotr? Good to see you both. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for that follow as well. CFF Shallow. Thank you. Thank you. Shallow Raid. What's going on? Wide World nu Nucling. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, Shallow? Welcome on in, dude. How? What the hell? Did we get shout outs for our peoples? Did we get shout outs? Can we get some shout outs for our peoples, please? I uh, want to make sure we got one for Lidipus and also uh, if we, we get one for CFF Shallow as well. Please, please, please. Let's uh, let's get our people hooked up. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, Mr. Mr. Dr. Dynamite. Thank you so much. Are you really a doctor? Are you really a doctor? Please let us know. Um, calling Dr. Dynamite. Calling Dr. Dynamite. What the hell was everybody doing tonight? What leads? What you were? Wait, leads. Leads. What were you playing? I, I saw it. I saw it. And now I can't think of it because brain go burr. Um, <clears throat> damn it. There's no no mods around. It's a modless wasteland right now, and my VIPs are snoozing on the job. Doom, that's right. You were playing Doom. Um, shout out Oedipus. That's right. You were playing Doom. All right. My my on-screen animation for some reason is not working, but the bot is working. So here are the um. Here are the links for our raiders, CFF Shallow. Make sure, make sure we get that. <clears throat> what were you streaming in the retro category, Shallow? I'm curious. Obviously, that's a big category, so I'm curious what you were playing in the retro category. Um, I hope you had a lot of fun regardless. Uh, Leadipus, I hope you had fun as well. I hope you made some good progress, dude. Just a fan of generic Dr. Pepper names like Dr. Shasta. And uh, what what are some other Dr. Generic Dr. Pepper names that you that you like? I don't remember all of the Dr. Pepper names. You finished the base game going back for the expansion on Thursday. Yo, that's dope. Hell yeah, dude. GG's, man. Dr. Thunder. That's uh, yeah, that sounds like another one. <clears throat> oh, Cheerwine, dude. Judge Zach, I wanted to try that and I didn't try it when I was down south. Thank you so much for that follow, Gato Logic. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome, welcome to all of our new followers. I appreciate it so heckin' much that you follow the channel. Um, my name's Caffeine Daydream. I do a lot of retro and indie gaming. I am a husband, father of four. I work in wealth management in the daytime. Uh, I like to stream and have fun and just enjoy myself, have some laughs, and make some new friends in the nighttime. And so if you're into that, if you like that kind of stuff, uh, I also do love coffee as well. So obviously, my name is not just a clever pun pun it is uh i do have a love for coffee and espresso so if you like those things please come hang out with us um and have some fun with us as well <clears throat> uh cheer wine so yeah judge zach so i went to north carolina like the carolina area and i like had never tried cheer wine because it was it like and i don't drink a lot of soda so i was like i wanted to bring some home and i forgot to do it and i was like kicking myself because i was like damn i could have bought a bottle of cheer wine i could have brought it home and we could have tried it because i don't drink soda ever so i didn't buy it and then i was kicking myself for not doing it excuse me sir are you famous i am famous young welcome on in dude how are you doing buddy <clears throat> ken foray finally showed up and it's very weird seeing him with hair dude i'm telling you ken foray is such a such a a, a badass in that movie i'm telling you dude He's so freaking heckin' cool, dude. Watch. He kicks butt. <clears throat> uh, let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, Dr. K is Kroger's Dr. Pepper. 
Is there anything I can spam here? Uh, we do have some things, Yang. If you look around uh, in my about section, there's some things. But uh, don't go crazy spamming either. Or I'll bop you, dude, okay? I'll bop you, all right? But have some fun. Enjoy yourself, have fun. But yeah, don't go crazy, all right? Use it in moderation and use it. If you use it in a smart way, I think it's funnier than if you just spam a whole bunch of stuff for like Keck W's, <laughs> you know? I was playing some Resident Evil, Naruto, Kirby, Power Rangers, and Final Fantasy. Wow, five different things? Now, was there a reason that you were jumping around between things? Uh, or like, what was what was the plan here? Did you just like dabble in a whole bunch of things? Did you have some sort of redemption to play different things? Like, what was uh, what was the 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 the, the stream plan here? I'm curious. <clears throat> I've been playing through things as like a first playthrough to like beat the game, and then I move on to something else. But I know some people have like a redemption to like play a game for 15 minutes or something, and then play another game. Like some people do it differently. I'm curious what your your uh, stream plan was or how things went. I used to live in the Carolinas. That's the only place I've seen it. Yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, that's where I saw it was in the Carolinas. And I was like, damn. Uh, yo, DJ, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on in, sir. It's good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Let us know how you're doing in the chat, buddy. Big K, Dr. K, Rip Kmart. Rip Kmart, indeed. Um, Kmart was around my area. I know that store, but it is pretty much long since gone, unfortunately. Uh, all right, I need to... I have two of them. Wait, wait, wait. All right, hold on. Oh, baby, I just... I'm going to end this octopus's life right now. I tend to troll on Twitch. Will you ban me? <clears throat> it depends. Okay, so no fun. Got it. I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, no. Fun is allowed. Uh, and, and memeing and joking is allowed. And me, like, all that stuff is allowed. Just, I like it in moderation. <clears throat> I like to, I like to enjoy myself. I don't want to ruin anybody else's experience is the thing. If you're trying to mess with me, that's one thing. But if you're ruining other people's experience, and as as somebody who wants to grow on the platform and everything, uh, I don't want to ruin other people and have them tune out. Okay, so that's 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 what I try to avoid. Fun is banned. Some retro games got too easy, and other games got too hard. You were trying to find that right balance of of difficulty. CF CFF Shallow. Did you play the original Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy 1, right? I'm assuming if you were playing retro. I mean, <laughs> you didn't mention that it was like Final Fantasy 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. You just said Final Fantasy. So I'm assuming the first one. I live next to a Kmart, the last one in Illinois. It finally closed in 2021. Did it really, Yong? Dude, mine closed like years ago, dude. Bro, years ago. Literally. Um, I haven't... I haven't seen a Kmart in this area in in a long, long time. <clears throat> what to do that? What do them tentacles look like? There. Yeah. I behave here, streamer. Thank you, Young. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you, man. And glad to have you here, dude. Obviously, we like to have fun and enjoy ourselves. But yeah, we just want to do it in moderation and not not annoy too many people. I've got some memes on the channel, though. If you check it out, if you look in my sound effects uh within uh you know my about section and everything we do have some stuff here um so yeah um just in moderation i think is best doing very good very tired as usual how are you dude i'm doing all right man i didn't stream on friday because i was feeling a little under the weather because of like not resting and stuff i think my immune system took a hit because i was staying up a little bit too late not getting enough rest so i took friday off but i got some rest over the weekend i watched some stranger things i chilled back relaxed a little bit uh, Niv, thank you so much for the shout out for DJ. And um, now I feel better. I come back with some more energy, some more strength, and feeling a bit more rested. So bringing the vibes, bringing the good times here tonight, dude. <clears throat> the octopus got froyoed. That's what I'm saying, Ginge. That's what I'm saying, man. I use those um, snowmen, and then I use the yo-yo, and you get so many hits, you just rapid fire it. Final Fantasy that was released on the Game Boy Advance. Wait, which one was that? Was there a remake on the Game Boy Advance? 
I don't remember exactly which one was on the Game Boy Advance. That's dope, though. I hope you had fun, man. Um, I enjoy Final Fantasy games. I enjoy basically the ones from Final Fantasy 4 to 10. I haven't played the ones that are before 4, and I haven't played the ones that are after 10. But everything from 4 to 10, I pretty much love and adore. So I think those are, those are really great. We don't even have a Kmart here. Yeah, I think that might have been a US only thing, DJ. <clears throat> he is the boy dolphin. He is thanking us for saving him. Let's signal his mother. We'll never forget your kindness. Now we must help you. Please follow me. Please follow me. All right, let's go. Those are some good Final Fantasies. That's, that's what I think. I, I enjoy all of the ones from four to 10. I think those are the best. I love them to death. They're so good. Um, yeah, just, just the bomb bait. The bomb. We'll never forget your kindness. Good luck. Okay, so this was area two. Refrain from turning power off or reset. Storm and calm. Suddenly it gets dark and stormy on the ocean. The sea tosses subsea. Nine Kmarts left. One in New Jersey, New York, Florida, Puerto Rico, Guam, and four in the Virgin Islands. That is not counting Australia's Kmart chain, which is not related to the U.S. Kmart chain. Whoa. That's an interesting factoid, uh, Lord Malachite. Thank you so much for sharing that. I did not realize there was actually one in Guam and four in the Virgin Islands. I would have thought they were more statewide to the U.S., like mainland you know <clears throat> uh, probably not even in like hawaii or something just basically the mainland but that's very interesting nine of them left that's like the blockbuster isn't there one blockbuster that's like left like one of them <laughs> you know, like one blockbuster somewhere you can find the subsea was wrecked in the storm it's always strangely calm after a storm oh from now on, you have to walk. Well, that's a pity. Having to walk. Imagine. Let's check this hut. <clears throat> blockbuster just gone. Oregon Blockbuster. One Blockbuster in Oregon. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I knew there was like one somewhere. Like the last remaining holdout Blockbuster that like remains. It's... it's... I just didn't remember where it is. Apparently, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Lord Malachi. I knew it was somewhere. In Bend? Bend over? Got him. Went there once. Very nostalgic. Oh, shoot. Wait, did you... Wait, you said earlier, because I asked you if you were in California. You said... But you did. You said you weren't in California. You're in Oregon? You're, you're definitely west. Uh, west Coast. Yeah, you're in Oregon. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I missed. I missed it earlier because we were talking about California and stuff. Um, that's the only blockbuster left in the world. Yeah, DJ. I knew there was. That's that's the last one. There was one somewhere. I just didn't remember where it is, and I'll forget by tomorrow. But at the same time, knew there was one. Last remaining one. You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. This man did not just give me coconut milk. You know damn well that was not coconut milk. It was something white to drink, but it was not coconut milk. <clears throat> Go to Miracola and find help for your wrecked ship. What do you got here, sir? What are you holding out on me? Time to get new passport photos. Photos, Yo, dope, engineer. Take it easy, bud. Enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, I know it's like it's like a, late, late. It's like afternoon for you. It's not really quite evening yet, but enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here, hanging out with us, and having some fun with us while we play through Star Tropics. Appreciate it a lot. Good luck with your uh, passport photos, and I uh, hope to see you back again soon, man. Oregon Trail. <clears throat> Have you ever played and beat Oregon Trail, Yang? That's not an easy game. You think it is because it's just like you don't really do anything, but most of the time I think people die in that game. You drink it and feel much better. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, I used to play it at school as well. 
but we would only play it like once like i don't even know it was very rare where we would actually play it so you could never like develop a good strat to like playing the game so i'm curious um if anybody ever beat it because i don't think i i ever beat it as a kid it's very rare we played it Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Seven TV emotes? Oh, you know I got seven TV emotes, man. I got tons of them. <clears throat> I used to play Oregon Trail on the Apple II in grade school. I like the rifle hunting parts. Yeah, those are fun, right? Hunting down the animals is like ridiculous. My favorite thing to do in Oregon Trail is hunting an area to extinction. <laughs> I think you and Young sound very similar. Ooh, we got this thing. Whatever, whatever this is. We got this. Yeah, Young, I've got a whole bunch of emotes. I've, I've got tons and tons. I've got the, the 250 on, se on 7TV. I've got, like, another... I want to say 150 on BTTV. I've got the 50 on 7TV. I've, I try to add uh, as much value and bang for people's buck for being here and hanging out and enjoying themselves on my channel as, as much as possible. So um, feel free to use those how you like. You don't own 7TVs? Oh my gosh, imagine, dude. Imagine. <clears throat> Get hacked. Okay, is there any is there any secret areas over here at all? <clears throat> so Nikki played her way through this game, which is awesome. N Nikki, what are you playing through currently? I'm curious. you're not giving us updates you need to start providing me with updates okay I demand updates yeah there's no way you're getting through that without getting hit so he finally saw Ken Foray so, Set, if you can hear me, man, did you notice the guys that are outside when they're fighting these, these, um, like, bad guys that, that bust out of the building? And he, and the guy goes like, there's a thousand pigs or something. It's literally just like this white guy, like, painted up, like, it's ridiculous. Oh, gosh. Okay, this game just trolled me big time. If you look at that part in particular, you can see it very plain as day that it's just a dude painted up and how, how like ridiculous looking it, it, it is. <clears throat> I can't not notice it now. But I didn't really notice it at first until they... they kind of pointed it out in this um this i think it was like a documentary i was watching about george romero and the dawn of the dead uh movie but it's so plain to see just how like bad it is it's ridiculous okay get hecked nice get hecked okay cool So I'm not subbed to I'm not subbed to be 7 TV but I do have like all the emotes and stuff so you can't use zero with emotes on my channel but I don't think anybody really cares about that <clears throat> so I was talking about the way that um, in dawn Yeah, you can't 
how do you how do you go through that without getting hit? In Dawn, there's these these guys at the beginning of the movie where like Ken Foray and uh, the other actor's name, they go in to the, the, the hotel part and these bad guys burst out and they're they're fighting them outside. They're shooting each other and stuff. And um, <clears throat> these bad guys come out and, and one of the bad guys says something about... Um, he says... He says something to his, his buddy like... My gosh, there's a thousand pigs or something like that. Like, that's the line. And it sounds so ridiculous because if you look, the dude is just a white guy painted up to, like, be, like, Spanish or something. It's it's ridiculous looking. And you can't... Now, now that I see it, like, I know it's there, it looks so ridiculous. The guy just... It looks so, so bad. Like, the way he's just painted up and you can totally tell it's just a white dude. Oh, that's right. You can jump. I forgot that you can jump up and enemies will go under you like that. Okay, I... That door's shut now, right? Do -do 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 -do. There's two blocks here. <clears throat> okay, those are not it. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous looking is is the thing, dude. When you see it. Ooh. Okay, there it is. That was a lucky jump. I wasn't quite sure if that was correct or not. Okay, that opened up. Oh, it's shut behind me. Oh. I wonder where that other one went to. It probably brings you back to the front, maybe? Yeah, I think the staircase is a troll. Probably was. <clears throat> Best way to get past that snake is to just jump up. Yeah, I, I completely forgot about that. That you can do that. I completely forgot. It's, it's interesting that you mentioned that. I completely forgot about that. Welcome to Miracola. Um, all right, Miracola. So we needed to come here. Okay, so our beginning village was like Pepsi Cola, wasn't it? Uh, I'm a brave sailor too. Can I go with you? You almost died at sea. Um, er, um, uh, I'm getting seasick. I better stay here. Yep, that's right. Little bish. Where do you come from? Americola? Yeah, Pepsi Cola. <clears throat> Dylan, we're trying to turn Nutty server into a Pokey only zone. Pokey emotes only. All right? That's what we're doing. Me and CFB. This chapter is probably the largest one in the game. Okay. So worried. Bananette has been sick for so long. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll we'll see. <clears throat> Let's see what's over here, maybe. This game's got some jams. I'm liking the jams in this game. Good music. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Gatalogic? Welcome on in. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thanks again for that follow. Nah, son, I'm from Grapeco. Yeah, 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 me too. Okay, so there's like this whole area here that I, I'm gonna explore after I go through here. Um, I love the music in this. Nikki, I do as well. As a first playthrough, I'm getting to experience and, and enjoy this music for the first time. So this is really dope. 
<clears throat> I love when a game has really good music, and a lot of these NES games have are just jam-packed with bangers, and I'm enjoying it. I'm Miss Mira, 1990. You met Miss Coral? Tell me which of us is best. She's pissed. You're so honest and cute, too. I know. I know. Thanks. <laughs> Just happened to watch a video of Scottish man drinking local southern sodas. Really? And what did that Scottish man think about those uh, local southern sodas? Which which ones in particular? I'm curious, like, uh, are there... Like, we were talking about cheer wine earlier, which is, like, only available, I guess, in the Carolinas or around that area. <clears throat> it's not available in my area, so I saw it when I went to the Carolinas. Is there specific uh, southern sodas? Our chief loves his daughter very much, but alas, she is very sick. Okay, so that is... That is this person, right? This is the, the chief's daughter, Bananette. Everything was too sweet. He didn't love Big Red. What is Big Red? I've never heard of that soda before. That's an interesting name for soda. That's the name of a, a gum. I know that, Big Red. It's like a cinnamony type gum. What does the, the soda taste like, Big Red? <clears throat> Sundrop. I think I've heard of Sundrop. All these sodas, yo. You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. Thank you. It's so nice, giving me the white drink. Wonder if I should go down here first. Ellie J, we are making progress in Star Tropics. This is super cool. This does not wrap around, right? This is blocked off. Okay. Big Red is from my Texas. It's like cream soda and redness. I love cream soda. Cream soda is dope. That's right, Dylan. He made me drink the white stuff. Who are you? Stay away from here. Wait, dude, are you pissed at me? This guy's pissed at me. Okay, all right. All right, dude, I'm backing away. Chill out, buddy. I'm gonna end up saving the day. Don't you worry, though. I mean, don't thank me or nothing, you know? Who's this guy? And not as rage-inducing as Blastomassa. For real, though, this is much chiller vibes. Much chill. Uh, I, I'm enjoying this as a as a as a like next playthrough after Blaster Master because Blaster Master me had me raging a little bit at times. The last stream was fine. I was good on the last stream and I beat it and it was excellent and it's good. But this one is definitely chill. I'm loving the music. The vibes are chill. It's comfy. It's cozy. I'm enjoying playing through it. And it's definitely a good like game to play after the rage-inducing Blaster Master. <clears throat> Yo, Tetsuo, it's good to see you, buddy. Welcome on in, friend. All the love to you, my dude. How's it going today, buddy? Uh, no PBs today for uh, Hot Body, huh? For Nice Body? Hot Body? Nice Body? Nice Body. Um, but... GG's nonetheless, my dude. Did you take a nap today, DJ, or what, man? Do you know about the castle of Shikola? Better not go there. Star Tropics games were done by the same team that did Punch Out. Star Tropics was released in the US and PAL. Zodas Revenge was US only until Wii's Virtual Console made it available to PAL for the first time. Neither today has got a Japanese release in any form. Interesting tidbits of history there. Thanks for sharing, Lord Malachite. I knew that Zoda's Revenge was US only, but I didn't know that it did get a PAL release on the, the Wii U. <clears throat> or the Wii's Virtual Console, sorry. That's interesting. Thanks, man. It was a great session in disguise. I think I worked out some kinks and should see some results tomorrow or the next day. Let's go. Let's go, dude. It's dope. What is, this guy's not going to say anything to me? Okay. So this guy don't want to say anything to me. The other guy don't is pissed off at me for some reason. He's just like, who are you? And tells me to like get away. So that's cool. Um, apparently nobody likes me here. 
very tired. I'm just finished off my work requirements before I get shower and head to bed. All right, dude. Oh, now I may enter. Okay. Okay. Apparently now I'm good enough to enter. Oh, so there is actually a way to get to some... Something above there. I'm just hanging out. He is the chief of Miracola. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, but he's the chief over there. Coach 70 kids on my own. Dude, you're freaking... You're a baller, DJ. You're a freaking heckin' baller, man. GG's to you for coaching 70 damn kids today, my friend. Uh, that is wild. That's very wild, man. Good luck to you for all that, man. Get some, get some rest too, man. You definitely deserve it. You're a freaking wild heckin' dude, man. <clears throat> Slept for three hours when I got home from work. Oh, so you did take a nap. You did take a nap? Because you deserve it, man. Honestly, no no joke. You never played this, Gatalogic? But you wanted to, though. Yeah, I've wanted to play this as well. That's why I'm finally getting to it. But I never played it before as well. So this is, uh, this is the first for me. Chief Miracola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventure. Please, can you help me? <clears throat> One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky. And suddenly, dreadful lightning flash. Since that night, my dear Bananette has slept and she will not awake. Who named people in this game? Where do these names come from? Bananette? Maricola? Like, what? Maricola? Coca-Cola? Pepsi-Cola? I don't know. Please help my daughter. She is upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives who has healing spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter and I'll fix your wrecked ship. Okay, so that is our goal. Fix the daughter, he fixes our ship. Veracola veins? <laughs> they must be boggle names. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds about right, Nikki. Veracola veins. I like that one, LEJ. That's a good one. <clears throat> uh, Lideracola. That's another good one. Thank you. Thank you, Tetsuo. will be easier next week when my workmate is back from holiday. That's dope, man, because I'm sure you you need and deserve um some help, man. I'm sure. Bananette is sick in bed. Oh, you're Mike. Yeah, I'm Mike. <clears throat> it was a laser day today, calf. It was laser day, really. You got lasered? What did you get lasered, LEJ? I'm curious. I, I'm curious to see, to hear and see where this goes, LEJ. What did you get lasered? I'm so worried Bananette has been sick for so long. Both your legs and your arms. So you did not laser the, 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 the nether regions? Just the legs and arms, okay. How long does that last for? That's not permanent, right? That's only that only lasts for so long. Then it comes back, right? Yo, Tetsuo, what'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, you got a Pikachu? Yo, GG, he's catching the Pikachu, dude. Funny thing is, a new position has opened up as we have a guy leaving. I'm gonna apply for it. Yo, DJ, let's go, dude. Good luck, buddy. Better pay for six months at least if I can get it. Sounds dope, man. All right, we got to fix this. Your hoo-hoo? Yeah, your hoo-hoo. Your you-hoo. You do not get... I do not get my hoo-hoo lasered. Waxed, yes. Lasered, no. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Tetsuo catching the Nidoran M as well. He's on a roll, man. Pikachu and a Nidoran. Let's go. All right, so we need to exit out of the right side of this screen. I think. Are we able to do that? Am I wrong? <clears throat> DJ likes my waxed hoo-hoo. All the boys like your waxed hoo-hoo. Um... A 
mountain hermit. Okay, so we need to go to the mountain. Who wouldn't? You'd have to be crazy not to like LEJ's hoo hoo. Come on. You won't laser your Moxie? Moxie is another local soda. <laughs> That's dumb. I don't know why I found that so funny, but that was funny to me. <laughs> Thanks, Scatologic. Not laser in your Moxie? Imagine. Would you get your balls lasered? I thought not. I would. Hold up, I'm considering it. Yeah, can we get some ball lasering, please? Would that hurt? Does it hurt, LEJ, to get lasered to your, like, your arms or your legs? Does that hurt at all? Don't go looking for Moxie. It's gross. Ew. <clears throat> so I was thinking about some stuff for the, uh, the charity stream that I'm doing next month. And, uh, thinking about incentives and stuff. And I'm not quite sure exactly what to do, but I put some, I put some, um, possible ideas that I was mulling around in the discord so if you want to see anything like that you let me know um there's something but I'm not quite sure nothing is set in stone but I was throwing around some ideas <clears throat> hey uh Tetsuo nice body you got there buddy nice body rigged dude and if it's not rigged I swear You know about the castle of Shikola? Better not go there. Burning things off with a laser and you're asking if it hurts? Will people get LASIK surgery? My wife got LASIK surgery. I don't I don't believe that hurts. Because if it you you can't like flinch or anything like that when you're getting LASIK. You have to stare up at a certain point. Like they have a they have something you look at and you just look at that thing and you don't move your eyes or anything and the the LASIK does its its miracle work. <clears throat> So if LASIK is a thing, I would imagine it doesn't hurt too much, right? Depends on what you've got lasered. Arms or legs doesn't really hurt. It's just like little pops. The place that hurts the worst is where there's not a lot of muscle, like on the tops of my chins. Oh, yes. Check the pole, everybody. Check the pole, please. Uh, would you get your, your, nethers, your nether regions laser, lasered? Let us know your thoughts. Please. Did you just say Lasex? That's French for something. I did, Young. I did. You're right. I voted for the correct answer. There's, uh, there is only one correct answer, right? Holy, holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. Um. Okay. You can't fight all those guys at once. They will hurt you. <clears throat> okay, I just found that out. Important scientific research going on in the current poll. So please, please vote on that, everybody. Important scientific research. Dude, seriously? This nerd hurt me? Okay, that's true. <laughs> Alright, this one is dangerous. Yeah, I knew that was happening. I knew it looked too far away. Alright, there's something up with this. Damn it. Oh, I got... I got two out of the three. It's not bad. Cause two out of three ain't bad. Wow, still can't. Still can't kill that snake. Probably not, says Lord Malachite. I mean, yeah, I probably wouldn't either. I would just, I would just go with shaving it, like I, you know, like I do now. I mean, why, why bother to just, why bother to laser it? Why pay for expensive treatment I don't need when I could just shave it off? Dude, 
Dude, seriously? Okay, I hate this. <clears throat> LASIK sounds like botched blindness just waiting to happen. Well, I don't know, man. I know my wife got it and she, it's helped her a lot. So, and, and other people that I think I've, I've spoken to as well also said that it was good, but I mean, everybody's mileage is going to vary, I think, with that. Probably. <clears throat> but definitely helped my wife. My wife had a really bad eye and a, and a good eye, like a, a decent eye. And now the really bad eye is the good eye, and now the good eye is actually the not good eye. So, good eye, mate. As if that wasn't the most completely confusing thing I've ever said in my entire life, so... Okay, I don't like these chicken skulls. <clears throat> I'm sure the at-home junkyard laser is is simple and effective. I agree. Okay, there's no reason for me to kill these snakes, is there? Good eye, mate. Did you like what I did there, Nikki? Okay, these guys suck. Your German teacher had it. She was good for a while, then ended up worse. But my mate, Muni, she got it. And now she has perfect vision. Yeah. And I think it depends maybe when they got it too, DJ. Like, my wife got it within, say, like, I don't know, the last 10 years or something. I don't know how far the, the process has come. I don't know when your German teacher got it. If it was like a long time ago. Perhaps the, uh, it's come a long way. It was about 20 years ago. Oh, did I say French or German? I don't know. I don't know what I said, but. Okay, this is the one right here. I knew it was a debate. I knew it. You accidentally said French. Oh, okay, okay. I indeed did. <laughs> Nikki, you're the heckin' cutest, okay? I would use the sunlight through a magnifying glass method. Yeah, just burn the retinas off, dude. Don't even worry about it. Oh yeah, if it if it's not good for you, Lord Malachite, then I think that I think you'd you you'd be making the right decision there as to what what would be good for you to do. I think for my wife it was sort of like um, probably a no brainer. Like, although yes, it could have gotten worse. I, I was gonna say like it couldn't get much worse, but yes, it, it could have gotten worse because she could have gone blind, but. <clears throat> um, that did not happen and it actually made it much better for her. So the results for her were definitely the results to be expected. So we don't have anything really bad to say about it. Didn't Newton burn his eyes with the sun as an experiment? I don't know. I never heard that before myself. Marcel. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I didn't know that those... Okay, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Um. Okay, this is... This is not good. Okay. I did horribly wrong. Your granny was completely buying from age six and she did really well. Whoa, that's crazy, dude. Yeah, I can't imagine being blind, dude. I, I take my eyesight for granted, but... I've said that to like my my wife and, and my kids as well that like because they wear glasses I'm like I can't imagine being like not seeing like I, I take my seeing for granted so much that like it's always been there <clears throat> and I can't imagine not seeing or seeing blurry 
my vision has just always been 2020. It's always been good for me. And man, like I don't take that for granted, but it, it's like, it's weird that we kind of do. Son of a B? Holy crap. She got hit by a snowball with a stone in it. Yikes, dude. That's so bad. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel so bad for her. That's horrible. That's absolutely disgusting, bro, that somebody did that. My my brother got hit with a, a snowball, but it was just a snowball. But he got hit in the ear and he like ruptured his eardrum. That's wild, dude. That's so horrible. Wow, seriously? Oh, you're right. <clears throat> you're right. I didn't do that correctly. Shoot. Dude, DJ, we went uh we went apple picking over the weekend. Did you did you know that? Did you see any pics in the in the Discord or on Twitter or anything? We went uh apple picking. We got some honey crisp apples. We made some apple pies. I shared some of that stuff on the Twitter. What's Twitter? That's where DJ says, what's Twitter? Watch. Wow, I did it again. So dumb. Actually burning my eyes with Borderlands 3 with all the flashy lights. <clears throat> Yikes. What's wrong with you? Freaking weird chicken thing. Or Discord. Yeah, what's Discord? No idea what that is. DJ's never there. Never there. little pile of secrets <laughs> oh dude my man just crossed me up what was that oh no kill me hey the game just got difficult more difficult than what it was hey got him <clears throat> that sounds like a lush week with apples yeah it was really nice my wife wanted to go apple picking so i was uh we do it each year so finally wanted to go apple picking which we do each year at around this time all time sort of like mid mid september ish something like that so uh we went we got our bushel of apples that we normally do she made a couple of apple pies we had some family over it was very nice it was very cozy it's very yummy do 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 Let's skip these fly things all together because I don't think we need to kill these guys and they don't really do much for me. Oh, so lucky. Nice. Good deal. All 
Why does this look like... This looks... I don't know, man. Looks sketchy to me. <clears throat> Still waiting for your slice? I'll give you a slice. Give you a slice of that sweet potato pie. Wait, what is what is this thing over here? Plus two. Did the game just give me free one ups? So confusion. What that was? Oh, get hacked. Time. What does this do? Riot. I'm going to riot. I don't know if I've ever eaten po potato pie. Sweet potato pie or, or... Ow. Hurting me. Or pecan pie. I'm not sure if I ever ate pecan pie either. the way this character moves I just lost my slingshot oh causes these guys to move slow and weird I like sweet potatoes a lot but sweet potato pie, I don't think I've, like, ever eaten. This guy's gonna follow me around everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> Try your luck sign. Can grant up to three one-ups. And also subtract up to three lives. It's random. It, it'll never take... Never takes away your last life, though. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't know what the heck that was. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I had a fun weekend with friends from Canada. Lots of eating. Steam Fair, Food Fair. Showed off the new house. That sounds really freaking awesome, dude. We have a fair that's coming up, so I'm not going to be streaming on Wednesday because of the fair that we have that's in town. We're going to be there with the with the fam. But yeah, we're going to have all sorts of fair food. We're going to be hanging out. Kids are going to go on rides. It's going to be a grand jolly old time. That's not fair. Nice play on words there, Tetsuo. Whoa, wait. Is that item still going to be back there or no? Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> Play on words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice play on words you got there, buddy. <laughs> You're a real jokester, friend. Sweet potato pie tastes like pumpkin pie. That starts your texture. Like you'd expect from baked or sweet potato. Wow, I just jumped without even looking. And I probably just almost died and somehow did not. So, GG's. On...
jumping without looking. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is this boss? Okay, what? What am I doing? I don't quite know what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm going to figure this out, though. Hmm. Give me that heart. <clears throat> yeah, I'll get it, Nikki. I'll get it. That was just my first try. I was just like, what the hell is going on here? I need to figure out this boss, which I am sure I will do. Unconventional? Yeah. It looked different. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with different. Because we're going to figure it out. I imagine I might need these things to beat this boss. So I'm going to take those <clears throat> and then we're going to get back. But I need to check out these platforms to see if there's something in the way these platforms are that I need the platforms for some reason to beat this boss. Um, so I don't have any magic items, but I do have this. Hey, that didn't do anything. Check these platforms. Hey, that didn't do anything. Okay, this boss can't hit me when I'm back here. Interesting to know. Okay, <clears throat> we found something. All right, progress. Uh oh, I forgot about the snakes. Thank you for the encouragement, Nikki. You're heckin' wonderful, you know that? Nice. Oh, this song is hella catchy, dude. This game's got some good music. I jump, jump up to the left. Ooh, you want to go out sometime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to a concert together. You and Caffeine Bot chilling, going to concerts, hanging out. Thank you, Nikki. No, no. I, I'm i just trying to be a good host, a good entertainer, a good person, you know, in general. Have some fun. Enjoy myself as a Twitch streamer. But that's just who I am in real life, though, too. Like, honestly. Plus two. Let's go. Um, Life's too short, man. Like, gotta have fun. Okay, good, good, good. 
like I'm not trying to be fake. This is like generally who I am in person. I'm like pretty upbeat. Like I like to enjoy myself, have fun. I like to inspire and uh, lift people up. So that's uh, that's just how I come out in my Twitch streams because that's who the hell I am. You know. Shower time? Yeah, go take a shower, man. You stink. I'm just kidding. <laughs> DJ's my mod. He gives me a hard time. I can give him a hard time too, okay? Doesn't mean I don't love him. Tetsuo. I love my Tetsuo. Yeah, do you need any help in there, DJ? You just let me know, okay? Okay, uh, there was nothing over here. There was, there was nothing here. In any of these platforms we're just gonna go up here all right so we need to jump jump oh gosh um oh that's a lot of fireballs he just threw at me okay so there's got to be another one you got to get rid of both of them not good to be j passing in between this guy obviously nice awesome and i got hit by the flame oh i'm dead <clears throat> right, yeah this boss kind of sucks not gonna lie and i'm like already dying so this is going really well ggs Jeez. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get this stinking boss. But by the time I finally do, who knows what time it's gonna be. We're gonna get there though, folks. I am a god gamer, okay? Just in case you didn't know. Grab these hearts. <clears throat> Coming back through. Oh, I gotta grab this. That was really close. Alright, keep jumping. We jumping. Maybe I'll get it this next time. We'll see. I just gotta be able to dodge the fireballs is the thing. It's goofy hard, dude. He always does like one. Oh, I didn't hit the. Forgot I didn't hit the thing. I don't like. I don't like this. I don't like this method of like kill the boss by jumping on a bunch of platforms. That's super janky, weird, just to actually do damage. It's like, it's frustrating. <laughs> the movement's so funky weird. When you commit to a movement, you're, that's it. You're stuck. That's not uncommon in a lot of games, but still, it's like, The way it feels is just very weird. Ah, oh. you can jump though is the thing. Even in place, you can like jump over a fireball. You can jump over an enemy, <clears throat> but it's it's so different because in most games you can't do that type of thing. So it takes getting used to being able to jump over a boss like that, jump or jump over an enemy like that.
Are you serious? Is that it? That's the boss fight? You just have to... You don't even have to, like, attack him? Like, it's so weird. <laughs> okay, Steve, what's up, dude? Welcome on in, buddy. How are you doing, friends? Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome, welcome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, so heckin' much. I appreciate it. That was weird. That was a different boss fight for sure. Uh, I think Lord Malachite definitely hit it on the head when he said that boss fight is is unconventional. That is definitely different. Tetsuo, thank you so much for the GGs. Nikki, thank you so much for the GGs as well. That was different. That was definitely a different boss fight. I was not expecting that at all. You've done it. Now are you saving your data? Did you eat the apple yet? Which one? I ate an apple. I ate an apple on Saturday when we went apple picking. Hi everyone, gotta watch some lectures and then leave me for last. No worries, Goomba. I know you mentioned that in the Discord. Thank you so much for uh, for being here. I appreciate it. Enjoy the lurk. Enjoy uh, you know your night. Sorry you gotta go to lectures and in class and everything, but good luck. You know you got this, Goomba. We got your back. We believe in you. You know that you can do it, so keep up the good work. The game cover is covering chat. Oh, is it? it I guess it kind of is, isn't it? You're right. <clears throat> Let me fix that. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, where's the game cover? It is right here. I'm going to edit the transform on that. Hey, look at that. There's chat. market will keep dropping so you're a financial advisor right actually I'm not a financial advisor uh, but nothing that I ever say should ever be constituted as, as financial advice anyway but uh, do I think the market will keep dropping well the market is a series of roller coaster rides it goes up and it goes down um, it might go down in the short term but it'll go go up in the long term. So invest your money. <laughs> you know, I don't play the short game. I, I work in wealth management. I work in long term investment. Uh, you know, retirement investments, stuff like that. Like dollar cost average. Got it. Well, there's there's thought that dollar cost averaging is the way to go and then there's other 
Um, there's other thinking that just putting your money in lump sum and not dollar cost averaging is the best way to go. So <clears throat> do whatever makes you feel comfortable is, is the thing. Do whatever helps you to sleep at night, right? There's the sleep at, there's the sleep at night principle. Like if you feel like you're being risk too risky to actually sleep at night, like then don't do it. Do whatever makes you happy and allows you to feel comfortable and allows you to sleep at night, I think is the, is the best way. So I don't think about the short term. I don't care about the short term it, the way I personally invest for my 401k and whatnot is long term. And so I invest primarily in equities. Sure, things have been getting hit lately, but I don't care. I care about what things are going to be in freaking 30 years or whatever. So yeah, it's a roller coaster ride. And so as a result of that, it just gives you more buying opportunities. If you're young, you should be all equities. There's no reason to have like bonds in your portfolio if you're if you're younger. <clears throat> um, if you've still got 20, 30 years, whatever it might be, there's no reason I think at this point you should be in bonds. I mean, it's all relative. Yeah, what's young? I mean, I'm I'm 40 years old, so I'm just saying like for me, 40 years old is is still still young i guess so i don't know but it's again it's all up to you what you feel you're comfortable with so will the market keep dropping maybe it will could go could go could turn around tomorrow i i honestly don't know what the market will do and i don't i don't forecast the market and again i think i've said this before but anybody who says they can forecast the market is either lying to you or dumb so um Nobody really knows what the market's going to do. We can just try to predict and try to do our best to understand what we think the market's going to do, but who knows? And you just try to do your best. Invest me, daddy. Give me the same advice as my financial guy, which is a good thing, I think. You're going to hear a lot of the same things. Long term, this. Pretty much all equities for retirement. I want you to predict the future for us. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Steve, sorry, buddy. Can't do it. But yeah, just, just, you know, if that, if you're okay, if you're comfortable with being in all equities and be in all equities, ride the, ride the ride. See what the thing is, is that there are a lot of people that will try to pull out of the market when the market's going down, but you can never get back into the market because you can never predict the bottom. So even if you get out and you, you, you don't ride that wave down, what's going to happen is the market's going to bounce and then you're never going to catch that bottom that you really want to catch. And you're going to end up only getting partial of the upside. So you might as well just ride the wave down and then ride it back up again. But in a, in, in a thing like a 401k, you you get all these buying opportunities like to reinvest your, your, you know, whatever comes from your paycheck and stuff. So as things are going down, sure, you're losing some some of your principal that you've already invested in, but you're also then reinvesting um, your future uh, investments from your, your whatever your contributions are, and then you're catching that upside when it comes back up. So I, I just look at it as buying opportunities. I don't really care. <clears throat> I'm not pulling out. I'm playing the timing game, which isn't good. I think dollar cost averaging a lump sum once a year. So it's good for long-term retirement funding. Well, For the average Joe, probably just dollar cost dollar cost averaging as your as your um your paychecks come out, I think is is probably best. I mean that's I think that's best just because you never quite know what's gonna go on. Um if markets keep going up, if you save and you just do one lump sum, you could be buying at the top potentially where you could have been getting in at lower rates and then if if it goes down i don't know like it's you just never quite know what's gonna go happen so just set it and forget it type of thing i don't know my 401k just invests with my paycheck so it's kind of like just uh some say queen of peerless beauty lives in this castle of shikola but only women may enter the castle seek help in the fortune teller's camp 
Make an appointment. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see what's going on here. There's a camp, apparently. Ooh, I'm a she guard of she cola. Get out of here. Oh, she's pissed at me. <clears throat> it, it depends. So I'm not talking about like somebody just um, somebody like Joe Schmo who's like DCAing into uh, with their their weekly paychecks or biweekly paychecks or whatever. I, I'm talking about like X X person. You know, Steve Bezos suddenly sells Amazon. He gets like tons of money. Does he dollar cost average it or does he lump sum it type of thing? Now there's thinking that dollar cost averaging is the best way to go. And there's thinking that just lump sum is the best way to go. And there's data to pack up pretty much both of them. So it's whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you feel is, is right in the, the sleep at night principle, I think at the end of the day. <clears throat> I'm a fortune teller. So I've seen like, I've seen people that have tried to pull out when the markets are going down and then want to buy back in when the markets are going back up and they never capture the ups. They never get the, the return that they're thinking they're going to get. But the people that just stayed in and, and rode out the market while it's going down and then back up ended up being better than those that like pulled out and tried to time it. When you try to market time, Fortune teller, sorry, but I can't help you. I dropped my crystal ball into a pond at Ghost Village. Okay, so we have a fortune teller who's missing a gold, uh, a, a crystal ball. And then we have, uh, <clears throat> we've got this Chicola place. help in the fortune teller's camp okay so we can't so they want me to seek help in the fortune teller's camp but the fortune teller has lost the, their crystal ball so we can't seek help there yet just buy nfts equals profit okay so back we go somewhere here maybe Looking up the definition of equities, I'm getting different definitions. What are equities to you? Mutual funds, ETFs, equities. Uh, equities are like are stocks, but um, there could be an exchange traded fund, which is an ETF, could be invested in equities, and a, and a mutual fund could be an invested in equities. So I'm just talking about the 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 asset class equities. I'm not, not talking about the vehicle, which could be individual stocks, ETFs, or mutual funds. I'm just talking about um, uh, the, the, the asset class. So you want to invest in either a stock, an ETF, or a mutual fund that is invested in privately owned companies, basically. <clears throat> yeah, equities are companies. Yep. I don't eat food. I just put all my, I just put it all in stocks every week. I'm the pullout king. I am not the pullout king, Sidewalk Warrior, unfortunately. It's why I have like 36 kids, according to Satekas. I never pull out when it goes in. I just stay in. I want to put in more. Exactly. Yeah. That is okay. Let's die. Cool. All right, that didn't work. But yes, equities are companies. Equities are stocks. Stocks are. Um, are 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 owning a a share of a company. It's like you own a little piece of the company, sort of. Okay, that did not work, did it? <clears throat> okay, so we've come to a point where things are getting a little more confusing. We have a a castle we can't enter. We have somebody who's missing a crystal ball. We have a an area that we can't seem to like enter here some sort of bridge or something um maybe we, i think we have to find the crystal ball is what it seems like seems like we need to find the crystal ball that's what i'm thinking 
I have one share of Google. I walked right in there and started telling people what to do. Do you know who I am and such? Didn't go well. Yeah. <clears throat> They'd be like, who the hell are you? <laughs> That's the thing is, um, depending upon the share, you do get actual voting rights in certain instances of things, but you'd have to own a majority share in order to like really be able to, to, to do much of anything, which uh, yeah, imagine owning a majority share of, of something like Google or Apple or Microsoft or anything like that. Amazon. Um, all right, let's see. She said she lost her crystal ball somewhere. <clears throat> All right, thank you, Lord Malachi. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, figure this out on my own here, but it looks like probably I need to figure out this. Well, Fortune Teller, sorry, I can't help you. I dropped my crystal ball into a pond at Ghost Village. Okay, so we need to go to Ghost Village to find. <clears throat> to find this uh, crystal ball. Hmm. Ghost village. That sounds haunting. She's gonna block my way, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's no, no interaction between... Queen of Peerless Beauty. Only women may enter. Okay. We found this. Okay. Does this lead me to the ghost village? Where does this other place lead me? I don't like when there's two possible ways to go. So I need to figure out which one is the correct way to go here. Or, oh, health increase. We like that. <clears throat> big heart. I do have a big heart. Thank you. Your life level is increased. I do enjoy having a big heart. Here's Ghost Village. Creepy music. Hey, she said she lost it in a pond at Ghost Village. Okay, there's this this one's highlighted different. Okay. Scary scary characters here. They don't seem to be able to jump onto my platform, which I like. Okay. We go left. It's pretty neat so far. I figured I would like this one, but it's unique. It's different. It's interesting. It's like sort of action RPG. Okay, this is closed. Gotta add the second one to my list. And okay, that opened that have to see. I might just do that. It's like Zelda, but for Americans only. Yeah, kind of, right? Uh-oh. Okay. All right, nice. All right, cool. Um... 
Yeah, it's pretty neat. The, the music's great. I love the music. This is probably going to be a trap. Nope, not a trap. Okay. Um, probably that, that stairs are though, that it, it's like going to be like an exit out of here. <clears throat> I bet. Welcome back, DJ. Hope you had a good shower, dude. You're asking for incentives. Do a big 20 so slow over multiple day, multiple run days run. Yeah, I was asking for sort of incentive things, but I don't. That that might be over my head. Squeaky clean. Okay, you can't go back. Apparently, can't go back. I guess we have to exit. <laughs> Hashtag stock talk. Yeah. Which I don't mind, but I'm not, I'm not any financial advisor. I just, I work in the industry, but. And I think, I think a lot of the time the financial talk is sort of like sort of goofy because it's it's just people pr trying to predict what's going to happen most of the time nobody really knows but you can you can hopefully those that understand the markets pretty well and understand like the, the you know the economics of things might be able to hopefully tell you sort of like sort of what's going on and and what might happen i mean with the fed raising rates obviously um oh gosh there's Hidden enemies here or what the hell? Okay, I don't like this. Seems like they follow you. I don't like that. Um with the Fed raising rates, I mean, they've done it several times now. They just raised three quarters of a point yet again. And so they're definitely trying to cull this, uh, these inflation fears here. And it's going to, it's going to happen. Not only are they raising rates, but then they're allowing bonds to, um, to roll off of the, the Fed's balance sheet as well. So there's a sort of a double effect here going on. And so eventually things are going to cool off. Um, Americans are getting sick of paying overpriced for, for different things. And so you're starting to see prices come down, I think. And awesome. More getting hit. Weirdly. <clears throat> and so I think people are starting to like not charge as much. And hopefully we'll see more of that. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Um. Most people don't understand all that stuff. Yeah, I don't think we're really in a recession at this point. I don't think we are. Maybe officially we are. I, I don't remember. It, it, it takes like three three individual quarters of like slowdown in order for that to be the case. But um, if there's going to be one, I think it's going to be very mild. At least that's, that's what has, we've been kind of like told. We just have a lot of cash on our hands. Everybody's sitting on a lot of cash. Uh, okay, so there's a right and there's a down. Two quarters? Might be two quarters. Might be two. I thought, uh, yeah, I said three, but it might be two. Half told me to put my life savings into Bitcoin. Yep, that's right. You're welcome. 
think we'll see mortgage rates in the double digits like in the 80s. Hopefully not. <laughs> I sure hope not. <clears throat> I honestly don't know, but geez, I sure hope not. I knew there was... Because that sucks. You can't hurt these guys, can you? Because that would suck if we did. All right, what does this thing do? What, do, what, what, what does this do? I'm slowly dying here. Because I'm getting hit by invisible enemies. Probably went a wrong way. Yep. <clears throat> I did go a wrong way. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't have listened to me, dude. You shouldn't have listened to me, okay? I hope, uh, I hope this kind of talk is not boring for other people. Most of the time, I don't even like to hear it. I need health though. I need health bad. Work lurk. Good luck. Have fun. Thank you, Aniv. I hope work goes well for you, dude. You are so absolutely boring. I knew it. Can I just keep getting these hearts? If I keep going out, can I just keep getting these? Yeah, I know. And Niv got a job, dude. Niv's growing up. He's a growing boy. What the hell, Aniv? He's like a cooler chat member than some. He's got a job where he can lurk Twitch. He's doing better than me. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's all I do. I lurk Twitch all day. It's great. I hope people lurk me. But I hope people comment to me too. I like. I don't. Uh, I like. I like talking. I like, I like people that talk to me. Talk to me, bitches. I lurk you long time. I butt you long time. Thank you, Buttspot. I got LEJ who lurks me and I got Buttspot that butts me. Cool. I'm living the dream. My job blocks all the internet except for Twitch. I work from home, so it's the best. Are you cheating on me now? Oh my gosh, LJ, not like this. What spot? Why did you do it? Okay. All right. Now let's see if we can find our way. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, don't hit me. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. And button everybody. My gosh. I'm just trying not to get hit here. I think I'm doing a good job of it. Damn, I did not get hit. No! Damn it! You're not supposed to get hit. Especially not by your mummy. Oh, 
my mummy. <clears throat> DJ is too faithful. You would never do such a thing. DJ is a faithful bean. I'm having to go through and reset all my audio monitor settings. Really? What's uh, what's what seems to be the trouble, LEJ? Do 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 do. I got hit on that frame where that thing is. The frick! Oh my gosh, I hate these guys so heckin' much. All right. Hey, wait. Where was it? Was it over here? I don't remember where it was. It was over here. Okay, but we don't want to go to the right. The right was bad. <clears throat> we want to go down. Okay, apparently not. Wait. This is, is this the same room? This isn't the same room, is it? There's no exit down at the bottom. Is the exit... Okay, I think I got debated. I think I just got debated. Oh, I think I got debated hard time. Me love you long time. Can't say, but it sees two of the virtual cables. Huh? Is this on OBS 28? Like, I don't, I don't, what's, what seems to be the issue? Why it sees two virtual cables for, for like where there should be one. So for every one, it's showing two instead. Weird. Oh, DJ. Sag, dude. Big Sag. GG's. Poor DJ, he's got like couple of Pokemon left to get. My dude just can't catch those. So it duplicated all of your audio cables. If you delete one of them, does it delete both of them? I don't think it will, but I just ask weird questions like that sometimes. <clears throat> I want to catch them all before Solgren releases Gen 2 for public, which won't be long. Has he, has Solgren stated that it's like coming soon or what? Or that's just your your thought, your interpretation. He has stated that, really? Okay. Interesting. I don't really see Solgren much, you know, and only around in certain channels, and I, I don't really see what he says half the time, so. Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah, act. Okay. Nice. That's that's good though. Gen 2's coming out. That's really dope. <clears throat> Glad to have that. wait to have that i don't understand the whole like attack catch thing that he's got going on like that that's something that like kind of goes over my head a bit yeah I, I had to get double hit there of course um oh gosh i didn't i did not need to jump onto that guy Okay, we need to go right, I guess. Apparently. Oh no. I'm gonna die, dude.
I don't, I don't get this. No matter what, I'm ending up in a, in a room like this. <clears throat> you can attack the weak in the wild Pokemon so you increase chance. Catch chance. Oh, okay. So that's what it does. I kind of thought that's what it does, but I didn't fully understand what... What it meant. What the hell? All right, this game's got me a little, 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 little bit uh, confused. It's got me confusion right now. This dungeon got me confusion. Are there any other dungeons or anything around here? Or is that it? <clears throat> no, I don't want a hint. I'm gonna try to figure it out on my own, but I gotta... I gotta think about it. I gotta test things out. I gotta try. It's obviously this. Obviously. I wonder... Choose your own Pokemon trainer sprite. Wait, what? There's not just one sprite used like for everybody? Like has been always been the case? That's weird. That's actually kind of neat. 68 different trainer sprites. Whenever you get into one of these, this one in particular has this music. Wow. You even get to choose like a, a gender one as well. So you're not just Ash, you, but you're like... Another character. Raspy, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Hope you had a good weekend. Let us know how you're doing in the chat. Let me see who we got here. Who's Curly Dancer? We got two people who raided me into Curly Dancer. Frankie did. And Pixie did. Both of them. <clears throat> what the heck? Do, 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 do. Okay. Very, very cool. Let me get rid of this. That's me. Folk is still playing. Crash Bandicoot. Grunt is still playing. <laughs> Grunt's going strong. He's on like 10 damn hours almost uh, of DD2. Nova Charter still going 10 hours strong. What the hell? My man. Um. And then uh, Zaylin went into minus F8. All right. Cool. Cool beans. All right. Young, welcome to the Discord, buddy. What the hell? <clears throat> 
<laughs> That's great. Nice. Somebody just got a leather whip from Throne. Somebody, somebody got somebody else a leather whip. Cool. Uh, when did they raid? Um, I don't know. I'm well enough. Caught up with some friends on the weekend. How about you? You, see, yeah, I see all of it. See everything. I had, I had, um, had uh, Zaylin open since we raided in there earlier. I've been lurking about in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was, was it Sean that raided Zaylin, I think? For sure it was Sean. No, I thought you did the shout out like right when Sean came in and then you were like, okay, now that things have died down, let me do the shout out again, basically, was like what I remember seeing. Because sometimes people will do that, like they'll shout out as soon as like the raid comes in and it's like things are kind of chaotic, crazy. And then, um, which I think is fine, but then I also think it's good to to kind of like do it afterwards like how you how you did so like wait for things to cool down and then do it afterwards so then like people see it better oh there was another raid after that and you were late okay gotcha it wasn't Sean, sean's gotcha <clears throat> yeah zaylin streams yep he's been he was doing chip and dale uh, speed runs when Sean raided. <laughs> Welcome to the club, Raspy. <laughs> you fit in perfectly here with us. There's nobody old and dumb in this chat. Nope, no siree. We're all young and vibrant. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to try something, though. Do, 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 do. You're old. Hey, I'm old, too. I don't mind it. I'm so old, I'm doing laundry. Hey, you know, the laundry is not going to do itself, though. Oh, gosh. Please don't hurt me. <clears throat> Taking so much damage. Stop, I'm just trying to get health back. I'm so old, I'm all in bonds. That would go right along with the conversation we've been having earlier, Steve. Yep. Steve's so old, he's in bonds. Steve's so old, he liquidated his whole portfolio because he's afraid of the market movement. Now you come at me. You came at me real quick, you little son of a bitch. Yeah, what's wrong with bond funds, dude? Just talking trash about bond funds. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, that was good. We didn't get hit there. Is exactly how I like it. Nice. 
also good. Okay, I don't think this magic item does what I think it does because you don't get it before... I was wondering if maybe this thing... Oh. Oh, stop! Okay. Oh, they move back and forth. Oh. Stop hurting me, Skeletor! the one that's like trapped in the wall you can kill them wait this is what I'm missing Shoot, he's back. Alright, so now I'm gonna have to exit. I can't... I don't think I can proceed forward because I don't have any more of that... This special item. Doesn't allow me to go back. Are you seriously just gonna hop back and forth there with... Doing nothing. The jack in the box. Awesome. I was like, I know, I'll choose the right way to not get hit. It's hit. Okay. Okay, I think I understand this a bit better. dogs <clears throat> they're like the snakes in zelda when the, when they see you and they go nuts running at you Pick these jagoffs all right come on come on come on let's go dog Dark September, thank you so much for your contribution, buddy. Appreciate you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Hope you had a good weekend also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, keep it moving. Do, 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 
You're on FF6. Nice, dude. How's your party looking? Looking beefy? Looking pretty beefcake? Alright, gotcha. Nice. Okay. Esper hunting. Nice, dude. Hella beefy. Hella beefy, he says. Yeah, I think I do. I think I have a better grasp now. We're gonna find out though. Looks like you have a better butt of what to butt. Okay, so Okay, there's Oh, stop using it. I hate that <clears throat> I hate that they give you so little of it. Okay, so you can get more? Is this the strat? Do you just keep farming this... this thing? Seems like the strat. Just keep farming. Just become oat... calf farmer. If you kill these guys over here, hmm. you get four. Yeah, see, it doesn't do anything, it only shows the ghosts. where there actually are ghosts. So, awesome. Nothing like getting hit by these dumb dogs for no good reason. <clears throat> Stupid jumping skeletons. You get hearts. You go down. All right. If you just jump out of here, there's no other ghosts in this area. <clears throat> you can freely walk in this area however much you want right here. They're only on the top level. No, 
No. Oh gosh, get. All right, we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna grab this. Thanks for the four. How are they always? Oops. Okay. How would they always manage to be where I am? Dude, come on. There's no way they can constantly be where you are like that. I call BS. Charter. What the hell's up, dude? Welcome on in, buddy. Hope you're doing well, dude. What's up, LCG? What's up, Nova? Hope you're both doing excellent. Hope you had a good time, man. That was the rest of your stream playing Night in the Woods. Hope you had fun with the, the dude that says, Sup, duder. He says, Sup, duder. Dude, you went for like 10 heckin' hours tonight, man. What the heck? 10 hours, buddy. You went wild and crazy, dude. Absolutely heckin' wild and crazy, my man. I hope you had a good stream. <clears throat> yeah, she was all over it because she knew she was coming in on that raid. Figured I should stop and eat, yeah. Yeah, you, you might want to maybe do that. Just saying, bud. Yeah, you were going heckin' hard. 10 hours is a long time, dude. Eating is for chumps. I mean, or those that just want to stay alive, maybe. Be healthy. I don't know. You do you, though. I like eating. Oh no, they're back? Why are they back? Okay, so at this point, I've killed these guys and they open up that path. That's the only path that opens up. Oh, dang it. There was one more thing I wanted to try though. Is this there's this guy right here yeah that does nothing that does nothing had some coffee and some cashews that's about it you were going hard buddy my goodness sometimes Nova does that he goes he goes real heckin hard Wait. Oh. Wow, that dude was concealing that path. Okay. What's up, Mojo? Welcome on in, buddy. How you doing, friend? It's good to see you, bud. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Oh, no. Is there two? There's not two paths, right? Yeah, there's only one path. <coughs> Finish him! You completely don't understand what's going on in this game. It is a unique game, that's for sure. You're, it, it's it's sort of face value. 
it's very sort of face value so what you see is what you get here um you're just trying to traverse through these different areas and stuff but hopping hopping on some of these green blocks do things sometimes Okay, hooking me up with some health. I like it. Shut the door all the way, Luke. Okay, all the way. Thank you. You want to make that banana bread? Oh, the one that you sent me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I love banana bread, man. Banana bread's dope, dude. My wife makes banana bread sometimes. She just made two apple pies, though, so... Um, she hasn't made banana bread in quite a while, though. She, she, I imagine she'll probably do it at some point. But she doesn't make it with um, chocolate chips in it. Usually she doesn't put anything in it. But on a very rare occasion, I think she has put, like, walnuts or something in it. But really rare. Enjoying the troll? Yes, I am enjoying the troll. <clears throat> Indeed. All right, so... All right, did, when does this open up? You have to do, okay, that's how that opens up. I have a feeling there's gonna be guys in here that I can't see. do this. Oh, come on. Okay. The lights went on. I was like, dude, you can't do this to me. does have some trollness to it especially at this point it's like supposed to be ghost town of course troll troll town you know i'm only hoping i'm going the right way at this point which i think maybe i am but it's just a hope hoping upon hope at this point serious right now. <clears throat> okay, okay. These guys are always where you don't want them to be. It's like a thing. Okay, what is what is this? Oh. You get five of them. Hmm. Yeah, something tells me we have to go back to that other screen. tells me we have to go back to that other screen because there's more to do there that we couldn't see because it's lights out you really just want to get out of that room as quickly as possible but because of that you miss what you actually need to do within that room Dude, it goes out? Oh my gosh, come on. At least keep it illuminated for the entire time I'm in the room. Oh, 
Go through! This is... Kinda corny. <clears throat> kinda corny, dude! all my items yo uncle muscles what's up dude what's going on buddy how you doing man hope you've been well friend always a pleasure buddy butt muscles yeah butt muscles <clears throat> you gotta work those out do 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 Gotta work out those butt muscles if you want that booty. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, heck. Doing good, just had a good nap. Needed something to watch while I clean up some. Oh yeah. Hope you're in Well, uh, you said you had a good nap, but uh, I hope you feel rested now. Be ready to kick some butt, get some uh, cleaning done. Appreciate you joining us here and ha having this be the stream that you uh, you come and hang out in while you're gonna do your cleaning wait so i can't even do this now wait yes i can i lied you just have to grab this and then come back up through here get hit yeah because that's that's cool <clears throat> All right. Grab this. Come through here. Fall and die because, of course, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's it's a little annoying at this point because this is a really kind of trolly dungeon and it probably doesn't get better from here, to be honest. It's probably going to be more of the same. Uh, it, just like most games, it starts out fairly, fairly sort of simple. Um, and now it's ramping up to a point where it's it's introducing a lot of the troll and, and sort of nonsense that gets you killed and, and all that type of stuff. So it, it's a pretty neat game overall so far, though. I'm just learning the ins and outs at this point and trying to find my way as it's a first playthrough, but we're uh, making good progress. Oh shoot, I, I forgot how to move out of the way. So this one has these ghosts that you can only see when you use a certain item. Um, you can kill them when they're visible, when, when they're un, like invisible, you can't kill them. So you have to use that item, but you only get a couple uses of the items. And I find that kind of annoying. I wish it was more like Zelda where when you use the lamp in a specific area, that it stays on throughout the whole area. That doesn't, it's not the way it works in this game, which I find a, a bit annoying. Because they give you, you only get four of this and then you get five of the lamp. <clears throat> but it's uh, pretty neat overall. Um... course yeah see these these ghosts are annoying as heck utterly annoying as heck they always seem to be where you don't want them to be you like the use of shadows to show where you're landing yeah it's kind of neat the shadow follows you like wherever you're jumping to to and fro and whatnot it's kind of neat Where the heck? What was I doing in this area? Uh, 
Wait, okay, I remember. I was like, I was having like a... Having a, uh, a moment there. Alright, so I want to come in here. I'm going to use this here. This... This shows these ghosts. This is going to unlock some hearts for me so I can get some health back. <clears throat> I mean, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much because once you once you jump once you like push down and you push jump it doesn't matter because he just goes like you can take your fingers off of it and he, he just goes it's set the jumps are like set except if you jump you jump in place but you can't jump like forward you can only jump in place or if you're facing a like a direction and pushing in that direction, you go like this, like. So it, it it's very awkward, sort of like the way it moves. You can actually jump over enemies. It's different. Okay, there's gonna the guys are back here. I'm gonna get hit, so I lose some of the energy that I just ended up getting back. <clears throat> um. Like set? Yeah, like set. Yeah, it's like set. Um. Oh, wait. Wait, where the hell am I going now? Oh, I know where I'm going. I forgot, dude. Alright, I'm kind of dumb. Oh, juke them. Juke them. Alright, this was something that I didn't figure out until just recently. This guy was blocking a door for me. This is probably the most trolled dungeon in the game. It doesn't get easier going forward, but it isn't quite as mean-spirited. Gotcha. Yeah, so... I'm gonna use this... I don't know what the stars do, but um, I'm going to get this. This is going to help me with some energy. You can't go back through this one. You actually have to go back through this way. Is this closed again? Does this close each time? It does. All right. More hearts for me. <clears throat> you off the bed? Take it easy, buddy. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Hope you have a great rest of your night and a wonderful uh, rest of your week, dude. Um, I'm not going to be on on Wednesday, DJ. I, I'm going to the fair with my family, but I'll be back again on Friday, dude. Okay, you can't do anything to that. I just wanted to check that out. <laughs> stars refill your life. Every five stars equals one heart. Oh, I didn't know that. <clears throat> yeah, Steve. Yep. Yo, thanks, DJ. Hope you have fun as well, dude. Um, it's... I mean... It's, uh... It's something, I guess. It stinks like crap. There's loads of people there. It's, uh... There's a bunch of fried foods and... Cotton candy and... Candied apples and different things. And there's a bunch of, uh... Games to play that are rigged against you. And, uh... Also a bunch of... 
rides as well, which is basically the reason we're going there for the kids, for the rides and stuff. It's it's your average fare. I mean, if you've ever watched a movie and seen a fare, it's pretty pretty similar to that. Um, I wonder if I should use one here. I'm gonna go through there. It should give me some life. Have it in the east also. Nice, dude. Alright, let me grab this stuff for the heck of it. Help me out a little bit. <clears throat> the thing about these dungeons is they get they get bigger. The more that you go through this game, the bigger the dungeons get, the more you have to like hop around on green things and do all sorts of stuff and work your way through different rooms and it's like it's not so easy and straightforward as it as it was before. Of like first dungeon is just like basically <laughs> go forward a couple rooms and and there you are you're at the end it's like voila okay, this is where you need to use this again this guy oh no dude I don't like you get out of here you suck oh no I have to kill this thing hey This will help me none. I just killed this guy. Do I not have to kill this? Okay, you have to kill two of them? Okay. Never mind. Oh, here we go. This is where it gets real. Now we've got the, the cue, the like up tempo beats of the sort of scariness part and whatnot. And like, oh, now you're really into it. Okay. <clears throat> There's an area up there there's an area up like you can go you can it looks like you can jump up i'm kind of curious about that it probably yeah, heck okay i did just get a life So it seems like you have to go up here. And then we're back to like normal music. That doesn't seem right. That's very trolly. No, something don't seem right about this. 
I don't recall us going from the up-tempo music to... No? No, no enemies in here? Oh gosh, wasn't expecting him to literally be right next to me. It was this one. <clears throat> the hands are. Lucas, what are you doing? Because it doesn't look like you're going to bed. Music starts over when you pause. All right. I'm a little confused at the way it goes from th that music to this music. Seems like a downgrade. Seems like you're going backwards. Something don't seem right. seconds ago. Hmm. Oh, is this a boss room? Usually when you go up like this. This looks like it spun me back around. No? Maybe not. enough for me. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't like that. Um, what does this do? Room. 
Oh, they checked me. Checkmated me. He's so slow at running. It's like they're faster than he is, dude. Because of the turning mechanism. This looks not right. <clears throat> mm. Mm. Okay. These dungeons are getting a little bit too long for this style of gameplay. I don't like the way the dungeons are getting so long like this. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's pretty annoying. This style of gameplay is not bad in short bursts, but for our magician friends? I sure hope so. They're annoying. Okay, we got more ghost finder. Oh, it's a big boy. kind of like unpredictable in his movement. Seems to like the right side though. Now he goes to the left side. Of course he is, right? Ugh. And what's with the sound? Alright, cool. Shut <clears throat> the door all the way, Luke. That was a bad sound. It was not a good sound. Why did they put that guy in the corner? <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Malachite, for the GGs. Hmm. 
to jump on it a few times. Yeah, I don't know if that sound was supposed to be like that. That's like the way it actually happens, but the sound was... You've done it. The sound was awfully irritating. Now saving your data. Refrain from turning power off or resetting. Good luck. Dee -doo -dee -doo. Look, the pond is dried up. <laughs> You've got the crystal ball. Okay, hole in the middle does nothing. That's just where the water drained out. Okay, well that was Ghost Village. That was not an easy dungeon. Gotta admit. Do 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 do. Boop a do do boop a do do boop a do do. Do 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 do. go into right yeah this brought me to the the heart okay the heart's not there okay I was like confused for a second I'm like who's that all right we go down we come here <clears throat> going back to the fortune teller we're gonna Provide the crystal ball to the fortune teller and then see what fortune teller has to say. Oh my goodness, you have my crystal ball. Please give it back to me. You give it back to her. I'm back in business. Thank you. You want to enter Shikola, don't you? I know just what we need to do. Okay, just wait, will you? Oh, we just... Yeah, yeah, we just became a girl. Sure looks silly dressed up like a girl, but it may work. By the way, let me read your fortune. Oh, in the crystal ball, I can foresee. Risking life and limb. A bridge over troubled water. Struggling to escape. Oh, some evil mystic. Powers from the star far, far away. I'm sure these powers are controlling the monsters in the dark below. Oh, omens of disaster. And continue. Oh me, oh my. Fortune favors the brave, so don't mind me. Now let's enter Shikola. Now you enter Shikola. Yo, obsessive. How you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you had a good weekend. It's good to see you. <laughs> you must be from Radicola. You may enter. I am a warrior of Shikola. <laughs> I am a warrior of Shikola. Are you a newcomer from Hercola? Okay, we got some stairs. Oh, I am Queen Shikola. I hear a fight occurred at the ghost village. You've beaten all the ghosts at the haunted village? Oh, you're a super girl. What is your name? You respond. Michael M Michelle? Michelle is my name. Went really, really well with the beat. It tends to do that, right? It's just like... You love to see it, man. Michelle, good name. I like you. Why don't you join us? You say you must visit a mountain hermit? We will miss you. You'll save time if you talk to our head warrior first, okay? By the way, Michelle, your voice is strong, like a man's. Mmm, you cough. I see you have a cold. Michelle, you have a funny yo-yo, don't you? <clears throat> I'll give you a powerful weapon called Shooting Star. You've got a new weapon, Shooting Star. Listen, you need more than six hearts to handle the Shooting Star with skill. Goodbye, Michelle. All right. Well, I have seven of them, so that's dope. Do, 
Oh, they're working out in here. Okay. All right. Oh, they're battling too. I'm the head warrior. Want to travel west? Listen, shout abracadabra and jump 10 times at the tunnel end. We are busy training. Don't disturb us. I like the way this this thing right here is this is supposed to be like the the, the, the sign for female, right? This is like the sort of like onk sign, like what is that? Female zodiac sign or something? Do you want to change your clothes? Just wait, will you? There, I finished. Goodbye. Can you proceed through the rest of the game in that in that same outfit like that? Oh dearie, you were very cute. Well, thank you. Thank you. Do 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 do. Bum bum bum. Now saving your data. Um Did you do that before without doing the ghost village? I imagine, I don't know. I wonder if you could do that before. I love the way he shrinks. Like all of a sudden he just becomes like little guy. Pause, little guy. Oh, now I'm big. Wait, where's my shooting star? Why can't I use my shooting star? I don't want to use the yo-yo. I have more than six hearts, right? Or does it mean like health-wise? Do you need to have six hearts health-wise? Yeah, 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 I got you. Not just have them, but like actually you have to you have to have the health. Um I get it. I get it. Oh gosh. Now I want to get full health. Or at least a little more full. Oh, there we go. So that's kind of goofy that they, they give you the weapon, but they're like, oh, you can only use that weapon if you've got this much health. Which I thought it meant like, oh, I already do because I've got, like, I have the capacity to have seven hearts, but you actually have to have the health in the hearts, too. If you didn't get the hearts and you killed the boss, you were given them. Yes, that's right. Uh, Dan Carnet told me that. And I think that's part of the... The strategy of the speedrun is you don't actually pick up the hearts themselves, but when you beat the boss, you are then provided and given them anyway. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we don't go there. All right, here's the little, this is the little cut through we got to go to. Like, I can understand the way Zelda... Zelda makes you... You can't get, like, the Master Sword or something, and like, the sword upgrade until you have a certain amount of capacity of hearts. Even if you have... You can still use the sword if you don't... If 
like say you you die and you you come back to life you only have like three hearts you can still use the sword but you don't get the ability to like shoot the the swords until you have full health right this is this works on a sort of similar way but you you don't even get to use the shooting star unless you have the it's like they call the shooting star like the shooting of the swords sort of it's like a weapon upgrade more than it is or like an additional upgrade as opposed to getting a whole new weapon like i thought oh i just got a whole new weapon like i'm gonna use it like i would see it in my pause screen and stuff like it doesn't really work out that way I'm Poe, the famous poet of Southern Island. Like my poems, raindrops from the heavens, fountains spring from earth, lifting my spirits high. Great, great. That was, that was absolutely fantastic. Raindrops from heavens, fountains spring from earth, lifting my spirits high. That's a great poem. I gotta admit, that's a, that's a fantastic poem you got there. One of a kind. Let's see what we got here. So like you can see it and and select it when you have the uh, appropriate hearts, but otherwise it's nope. Okay. Do 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 no, you're not gonna go this way. Wow, now you're just giving me hearts. Okay. Okay. These uh these enemies are actually dropping hearts for me, which is irregular. I'm not used to getting dropped health. <clears throat> do 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 Oh, killing these guys in three hits is pretty dope. Oh come on. Oh my gosh, one hit and I'm back to the yo-yo course. That's great. One hit from the stupid. Like, cool, man. I should have known. There's something different about these blocks. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. This one's also gonna drop me a heart. Nope. Just a, a star. <clears throat> eee! Nice. Good kill. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got here. Get out of here. Come on. I jumped, dude. This dude's playing 5D chess with me over here. I don't, <laughs> this type of stuff I don't like, man. Come on. Don't make me play 5D chess with a skull on blocks that suddenly disappear and cause me to die. Don't do that. This is cheap tactics. That's Ness for you. And then I gotta go back through these rooms in order to kill these chicken zombie skeleton things. Oof, I did not proceed forward. What the hell? Now you're gonna make me do this too? Okay. Oh, there's gonna be a whole lot of that, I'm sure. Hmm. I don't have anything even potentially try to get that. I 
I don't know about that one. Ooh, sounds like uh, boss time. Yeah, I had a feeling those were gonna do that. Oh, what is this guy? What is this Marvin? they do that like you step onto the first one and then it just they all start to to move so you, you get debated into thinking you can jump you're like oh i'll just go fast and i'll jump and then it's like no nope. sorry okay I can't even get my special shooting star. That's like the way the game debated me with it with an upgrade. Like, oh, you got a new weapon upgrade. Oh, <laughs> by the way, though, uh, yeah, you can't really use that because you'll never actually have the life to be able to use it. Awesome. Good jump. Awesome, dude, come on. <clears throat> I don't see how I actually went for forward, but apparently I did. Out of six hearts. Nice. All right, we got six out of six now. <clears throat> this is the last dungeon of this chapter, and this dungeon introduces two new troll mechanics the sinking platform and that long distance switch demonstrates the other. Gotcha. like probably got you thinking oh there must be some way to get that and who knows maybe there is but not like they're just gonna give it up and 
show you how. Oh, I forgot I gotta jump on this platform over here. Dude, the shooting star helps you so much. It makes things so much easier when you've got it. Lord knows, probably not gonna keep it very long. No. Yep, back to yo yo. Dumb. Not a fan. Well, you got five hearts, not six, so you can't use that cool new weapon you just got. Okay, that's dumb. Why does it stop the platforms like that? Indiana Jones had to do it in the last crusade to get the grail. Yikes. All right. I don't like this. Like at all. Oh, you got to fight the Marvins. They just, they just hop around. I knew it. This was a debate. They're going to make you try to do this timed jump nonsense right here. Well, I chose the wrong way. These aren't going to do anything, are they? They never do. <clears throat> um. Oh, I'm like, I think they give you a little extra time with this one. Those platforms could go even quicker. Mervin. do yikes oh this is not annoying at all the hell These guys are super annoying. Like shoot from far away because you need to suddenly. Yeah. <clears throat> Those are Kappa. Look like mutant turtle men with holes on their head filled with water. Yeah, those are interesting. Um. I haven't watched Indiana Jones in a long time, so I don't know. Maybe you're talking about using a whip or something, but 
it went over my head if there was some reference there that I didn't get. Okay, there's, there's something here. here. There it is. Yeah, you didn't jump to the, to the right. Good, good job. Great job, dude. And you just lost me. My cool thing. Oh, geez. I don't like these spikes. Spikes looking kind of sus. Yeah, they they don't do anything. A little surprised. Hmm. of faith uh oh i wondered if that was what it was but i wasn't about to take the chance hey pookums what's going on dude welcome on in man hope you're doing well dude it's good to see you um it's going well going well making progress chilling kind of enjoying it so far there's there's a couple of trolley elements and different things that i'm not a huge fan of but the game itself is is fine Cool game, it's a good game. <clears throat> Certain little things that I'm not a huge fan of, but otherwise it's uh it's going all right, man. Alright, so that opens that. What does this do? This opens a new way. Let's continue right. How are you doing, dude? What's been up? What's new? Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, go down. <clears throat> oh gosh. Wasn't expecting that. But the other Star Trap is fine. Yeah, it seems some poor design choices. Yeah, it's just there's. Uh, I went through the really trolley dungeon. Um, but I don't like the way the game gives you like a, a weapon upgrade, but you can only use it if you have a certain amount of hearts. Like, so I find that. Kind of goofy that they decided to do it that way but i get it because it's it's sort of like a rather decently powered weapon give me that so this is this is the weapon <clears throat> not only is it more powerful but um you also shoot projectiles from it but I don't like the way you need to have like six hearts in order to use it. <clears throat> like I could get, I could understand if you need to have a certain amount in order to do the projectile, but at least allow me to use the weapon itself, which does more damage than the yo-yo. Instead of both at the same time type of thing. Okay, so. There's obviously something over there, but you can't access it from here. You need to find the correct passage, and I have not done that yet. Okay. <clears throat> Plus, it's frustrating doing the ocean block battles when weak. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. They, they definitely had some good ideas, and they... They did it interesting. I wonder if uh, Zora's Revenge is any different or any better. Or, you know, sort of um, takes what they were trying to do and makes it better, you know? Takes it to the next level. <clears throat> I wonder. Because I've already been told that I should, like, play that one. Okay, let's go over here. That opens that door. That 
that's it. She posted your FF6 party in Discord. Nice, dude. I'll take a look when I get a chance. Appreciate it. I have the second one. If I remember correctly from last time I played it, you can attack and move a little more fluidly, but some of the quests have horrible information when telling you what to do. Okay, okay. This one does require a code. Yeah, it's 747. They already kind of like told me what the code is, which, which helps out. Hmm. Uh, okay, so there's literally just a, a wall that you walk through. I was wondering if that's the case. Um. Now, what do I do here? Do I just jump into this water? Kind of afraid to do that. Okay. Where have you brought me? You've done it! Now saving your data, refrain from turning power off or resetting. Good luck! You came very far in search of my spell. Oh, you are fantastic. I'll give you the scroll of Obaba. You've got the scroll. Hey, we got the scroll of Obob. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. Take a leap of faith. We might troll you and kill you, but we might not have fun. Yeah, that's that's my thoughts exactly. It's like every time you jump in water, you die. But oh, hey, take a leap of faith right here and uh, see if it works. <clears throat> Luckily, it did that time, but it's scary. Don't mention it. Hurry and save the girl. Run, run, hurry, hurry, run, run, hurry, hurry. Dude, what? Tried... Tired and out of breath, you arrive at Miracola. Please read the school and wake Bananette. Bebob, Bobob, Uma Uma Obob. Bebob, Bobob, Uma Uma Obob. Get up, Obob, Uma Uma Obob. Wake up, wake my Bananette. Bebob, Bobob, Uma Uma Bobob. It's a Miracola. Bananette, Daddy's here. Yawn. Good morning, Daddy. I sure slept well. Yawn. I'm hungry. Is dessert ready? Bananette, put down that banana cream pie, Bananette. Mike, we'll never forget your kindness. You say you must go? Oh, yes, to rescue your uncle. I've ordered the repair of your ship. Let's go. This is such a goofy game. What's with the dialogue here? Mike, good luck. Navcom here, Captain. I've been waiting for you to return. Subsea is ready to launch. All ahead, full. This is a goofy game, man. Do 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 beanie 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 now. Oh. Alright, uh, number four, confession. Subsea is cruising on the ocean. A small island appears on the horizon. <clears throat> Whoa. For the longest time. Whoa. For the longest time. Uh, Alright, I'm just checking around. Just checking around a little bit. Little, little, little checky checks. I don't think this will really do anything, but I'm still just checking around a little bit. We have been together. 
right. Uh, ba do 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 do. Boop do do. Ba do 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 do. I don't know why I'm checking that, just for the heck of it. It looks like one little hut, and then it's like, village. <laughs> Here's a village. It's like one hut, dude. I'm a fisherman. I've missed a big, big one as big as a whale. My daddy is a fisherman. You don't say, kiddo. I'm a fisherman. Welcome to Tunacola. All these places have such interesting names. My name is Bait. Today I met a guy sailing all the way from Sea Island to find a boy like you, but he's still rowing his raft on the East Ocean. <coughs> Let's speak to this fine gentleman. I'll become a good fisherman like my daddy. Oh, it's a boy. Never mind. Have you ever heard of the raw fish eaters island, Sushi Cola? I have not. So there's somebody rafting out on the East Ocean. Okay, so let's head east, I guess. Seems to be... Swallowed up too, huh? Wow, Mike, it's me, Babu, Dr. J's assistant. Do you remember me? At last, I found you. But did we have to meet in the belly of this whale? Mike, I must tell you, I witnessed the kidnap of your uncle. A huge flying ship appeared in the sky. I did not tell you because I was afraid it, I, it would return for me. But the Southern Cross gave me courage and strength to find you. I should turn on my air conditioner. I'm getting kind of hot. I'm sorry I was scared, but now I must help. Let's find a way out of this fish with bad taste. Well, let me see. That's it, Mike. We'll make him sneeze. Let's build a fire. Dr. J gave me a lighter. It was in my pocket. Pocket? Shoot! I lost it when I was swallowed. It must be around here. Let's find it. Of course. <clears throat> now we have to go searching for your lighter. this maze. Well, there's the lighter. Of course, we can't get through this way. Maybe we can go around. Oh, oh, what was that? <clears throat> oh, that must be an area where, yep. So we're gonna have to take the submarine a little bit farther into this area, it appears. Yeah, there's nothing here. So <clears throat> although we can see the lighter, we can't obtain it as of yet because we probably have not ventured far enough in quite yet. I'm assuming. Yeah, empty. And then, yeah, okay. We're probably going to have to take this guy. We're going to have to bring it to the point where we can get... Wait, let me see. Yeah. No, this is not going to be right. I don't think this is going to be right. <laughs> this is going to be fun. That was the only way, right? So there was only up there. All this seems pretty blocked off. <clears throat> We're going to head up this way. <clears throat> I 
think that's going to be the way. I think wherever we can ride furthest to with the submarine, I think it's going to be... No. Yeah, no enemies. I was actually thinking the same exact thing. I think it's going to be as far as we can go in the sub, which is going to bring us... all the way over here. Can we go further? I think we can. But that was, uh, I was thinking the exact same thing, dude. I was like, there's no enemies here, which is hella good. Where was, okay, it was here. I think this is it. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. Kind of pretty quick. I'm happy with that. Yeah, uh, the first thing I thought of was like, oh, we're not like, we're not in that sort of area where you're you're bigger and you have to fight enemies so that's really great that uh you just do this as sort of a quick search you just got to find the right path but in this case the right path is literally the one that just takes you forever to get to all the wrong paths are going to be the first paths that you come up, come along to. <clears throat> I had kind of figured out by finding the lighter so quick that I knew you're going to have to take the submarine as far as possible. It just seems like it takes you way out of the way only to then sort of circle all the way back just to get it. All right. Let's build a fire. You've built a fire. It's getting smokier. It's getting smokier. Mike, help. I've got smoke in my eyes. It's getting smokier. Ah, ah, a chew. <laughs> All right, out we go. Ooh, wow. I was lucky that my ship got sneezed out of that whale and perfectly placed next to this island. Man, what are the chances it happens like that? <laughs> is that a is that a quote from uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights? A Jew? Yeah. That's a quote from Robin Hood Men in Tights, isn't it, L.E.J.? Are you, you're trying to throw a Robin Hood Men in Tights quote at me. <clears throat> I said Abe Lincoln. Man, hold the reins. <laughs> that movie's great. We used to watch that a lot back in the day. And then quote lines from it. We made it. I promise never to smoke again. Hey, Mike, I have to tell you Dr. J's last words. Evil aliens from a distant planet. Tell Mike to dip my letter in water. Do you understand? Dr. J has been abducted by aliens in the flying ship. Mike, leave me here. I'll be okay. Please help Dr. J. <clears throat> Navcom here, Captain. Input frequency. Important info from Navcom. Put water on Dr. J's letter in the instruction booklet. Wait, what? So how do you... Wait. How do you do this part? Oh, okay. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Didn't look like... Aye, aye, Captain. Frequency tracking system set for Dr. J's location. If I pick up a signal, I'll alert you. Sub-C is ready to launch. All ahead of full. All ahead full. Okay, great. 
<clears throat> yeah, I knew what it was asking for. I just didn't know how to do it. Thanks, man. Captain Bell. Subsea is searching for Dr. Jones location, but the strait is blocked. Uh, okay. All right, let's see what we got here. There seems to be something here. <clears throat> Where does this take me? I'm quite curious. Okay, there's something here. I don't know if this was like the way I'm supposed to go, but something here. My name is Hook. I'm the fishing master. Do you want to know the ABCs of fishing? Okay, wake up early and find a fresh worm for bait. The island saying is the early bird catches the worm and fish too. Here's a fresh worm for you. You've got a fresh worm. That looks like a shrimp. I got the shrimp. Cool. <coughs> is your name Nestor? What? What? Did I say... Did I say no and then he asked me if my name was Nestor? He did. Okay. Yeah, I figured it was asking me for the code, but the, the way it started off with, like, stars and it asked you for the megahertz, I was like, wait, what's going on here? And I was like, how do I put this in? But I figured it out pretty quick. If you just give me a moment, usually I'll figure it out. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, okay. What is what is this? All right, so we're we're sort of like right next to something here. <clears throat> I don't know if you e enter there through that cave, because it doesn't seem to be any other path that you can take here, unless there's something here I'm not noticing. Okay, checking around. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so this is... Some sort of a castle. I want to go check around a little more first before I go... I go into some sort of castle or something. Do 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 do. Let's go through here. Do 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 do. Let's submerge. I'm already getting cold. He's blowing like right on me, dude. But as soon as I turn it off, I'm gonna be hot again. Oh, I'm always hot, daddy. Do 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 Far is this thing gonna allow me to go down? I figured it's gonna restrict me with the the white lines here. I figured it wouldn't let me keep going like this. I don't know why it will. Okay, I don't know. This is dumb. <clears throat> Seems like you keep going, but you don't. Nestor is the red-haired mascot of Nintendo Power. Interesting factoid. Well, I think one of the ways you wouldn't know the code is if perhaps if you rented it and it didn't come with the instruction book. That would be pretty rough. seem to be anything here imagine the, the rental store guy being like yeah and uh the code is 747 remember that <laughs> hey by the way kid 747 what 
Welcome to Bell Cola. I want to be a hero like Captain Bell. Don't you know the story of our island father, the British Captain Bell? Not my papa, dummy. He's our island father. Hi, I'm the second oldest in all the islands. 128 years. Quite old. Welcome to Bell Cola. Thank you for the, uh, the warm welcome. I appreciate it. It's impossible to cross the strait now. The George Strait? I'm a great songwriter. Do you like my song? Me so, my bell, me so. Classic, dude. I listen to that song all the time. I get up early to fish. The early bird catches the worm, you know. Okay, uh, nothing else here. <laughs> I like the way these, uh, these villages are very, like, cut to the point. There's not a million people to talk to. It's just a couple people... <clears throat> They say what they're going to say, and that's it. You're from Sea Island. Our chief is waiting for you. I know that. That is quite interesting. I mean, the virtual boy was absolutely horrible. That's the red... That's the thing that you put over your face and it's all red, right? And it caused people to have, um, like headaches and stuff because it was, it looked so horrible. Oh no, it did, didn't it? I lost like, hmm. Can you hear stuff? That's what she said. <laughs> What's up, Ed? How you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well, friend.
<clears throat> where is the save spot? I want like a save spot. Save spot. was Captain Bell's Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. 